Hey, on Kev Kev, Mr. Gun, welcome to F1 Manager 2023. As last time out, okay, we've really just got a few points on the board. Of course, we want more though. We want to get ahead of Alpine, of McLaren, and get up to that four spot in the constructor. So we can see if we can do that today. As you can guess from the title as well, we've got some upgrades coming. Had one last, last stream, got one this stream as well, so we push forward. Let's get straight into it, shall we? As I have added some new mods as well, so you might see a familiar name back on the grid. Placing a newer name. Alright, let me... So yeah. I think I fixed all the timing issues and I think I got rid of the mob which was causing that, so hopefully I think it's gonna be working now. As uh, so here we go then. Let's hop in. Hang on, it hasn't saved the right, hasn't loaded the right one. Hang on. I've got to go into this one. No, that's Las Vegas. Oh my god, did it not save last week? I swear I saved that. Are you kidding? It hasn't saved it. Did I not manually save it? No, oh, I guess this is why you don't open up a new career to test things out. Then it's just deleted my auto save. Auto save my ass. Hang on, let me go back. Surely I've got it saved. Hang on, low career. No, it's not saved. Hang on, let me look in. Before I start panicking. Let me look in. Let me look on the actual Steam thing. Steam apps. It has not bothered to save it. What bollocks? Alright, let me... Look in Steam Apps. Saved. Save games. I don't think it saved it. Why would you have an auto save? That overwrites another auto save. Overwrites another save. Sure, they should be separate. Well, fuck. We're doing Australian Bagu again now. Brilliant. Just what I want to do. Hang on, I'm gonna say I'm gonna delete lots of. I might just delete lots of saves as well, cause fuck, <laughs> we don't need as many saves as we got. All right, 
Okay, it's about we're just heading back to where we were. All right, take two then. And now I've got to ma I've got to make sure I manually save after every session or something. Brilliant. It's wonderful to be back down under for the Australian Grand Prix. All right, we're back in Australia then. Let's see if we can do. I don't. I can't even remember what happened last time. I oh, know we got a different looking Williams. Oh, let me give you a close up. Look at this. We've got the 2006 paint on it. Yes, radio check. And it's pretty damn cool. Radio check. Yep, copy safe. Yeah, we don't, we don't care about any lance. No. <laughs> Sorry, sir, the answer. Don't read it. But oh, yeah, that's bollocks, isn't it? I thought I saved it at the end of the last stream. I obviously didn't. And now I can't access that other save because that is just an auto saved. There must be on. So do I just have to manly save all the time? Hang on, let me... I don't get that. Just have the audio play, but uh, you know, more than one time speed. Whatever. So, yeah, I can't change the saving then. That's brilliant. Alright. Oh, well, hang on. Also, we don't only have our skin as a bit of a throwback. Let me see if I can show you. Because... Oh. We've also got the 2005 Renault skin. Looking pretty awesome. Mix... Mix car. One of the best, like, liveries of all time, no doubt. So we've got the RB livery. We've got the updated Mercedes livery from Japan as well. It's looking a bit, a bit better. And they've also got like the suits as well for the teams as well. So we've got the same Aston skin, same for Haas. Updated McLaren skin as well. So again, it's got you know updated for Japan. And I think Red Bull's the same. Ferrari slightly different as well. We got a that's been updated with like the team suits now as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, pretty nice looking Ferrari. And then of course we still got the old Sauber skin as well from like 2005, I think as well. It's based on. So getting all the mid 2000 skins in. I'd love to get the. Oh, like the Red Bulls, like, first skin. That was pretty nice. Our first livery. And maybe a throwback, I don't know, like, BAR Honda skin as well for Mercedes. That would be pretty cool. Uh, so, hey, Gerard, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Anything to sound balance? Clearly something wrong with the car today. Okay, buddy, copy that. Oh, calm down, Esteban. Right, here's the action at turn 10. And they just can't keep on the track. 
How's the car? Yeah, but it's just so bad, man. All right, calm down. Let's calm down so I don't answer that. All right, let me. I guess I'm making the car really soft here. Let me get rid of some of the wing. Yeah, something like that. That will do. So I thought I was calling him in. I was like, what? <laughs> Didn't notice. All right. So if I do that way. And if you watch the last stream, this is not a repeat. It just did not say what I did the last time. So we're going to try and do better than we did the last time. We'll just push for... What are we going for? We got points with Ocon, didn't we? in Baku and here as well actually so we try and do as good or better uh, so let's check out everyone's on Nick doing well up there in seventh in the Renault Alpine it's just an, did he just what he's just done a nine minute lap what <laughs> first he's done an eight minute lap Ricardo's on the 12 minute, that. Oh my god. Might still be bugs in the system. <laughs> Am I? I'm doing alright, Gerard. Bit knackered, but. I think that's usual, usually a say at the moment for me. I mean, I did stay up watching the. What's it, the Fallout series last night, which is really good. Even though I've not played a lot of the games, like... What I've seen from people playing, it really captures that that game. Kind of, kind of pretty hope for a better adaption of it. Let's watch these cars as they head into turn 10. Oh, he's... And wide they go, leaving the racing line. Oh, he did what Leclerc did. As Ocon comes in... So guys in 18th and 20th, oh my god. Right, it's up to 74%. Yeah, it's something like that. Let's see what Stroll needs. Not as much, actually. Got that. Seventy-one percent. What's the Ocon? on twenty-four? I can't be right. No, 67% driver preparedness. The F2 similar, here we go. What? It's not F2. I'm going to the whole field. 1.7 seconds separate everyone. Remember, Perez is well on softs, I think. Or, well, at least the sapphire has been on softs as well. And we're just on hard tyres. Let's see, that history. Boom. Yeah, Perez hasn't been source. Looks like it's done a really low run. This is checker flag. We need to perform the game. That would be pretty interesting. There's not enough circuits though for super perform. There's only like four or five circuits. We need a bit more than that. 
はいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいOh, the reveal tray, though. What is there to reveal? It's just going to be the same, but without breaking point, would it? How does it feel, Lance? I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, copy that. <laughs> Lance, he, he's so, you know, he's such an imp inspiration, you know, Lance Stroll. I was watching someone do the, what's it, siblings or dating game? And there was Lance Straw and his sister, like with his sister like sitting on his lap. And they did think he was dating his sister, so I'm not sure if that's an exclusive or what's going on, but <laughs> Might be well first though. How was the balance? The balance was really good. Sweet old How did, how did you know that was like their theme tune? What the hell? Right. They, they also had, what's it, Verstappen and, what's it, Kelly PK as well? And one, one of the, there was two people, one of them thought they were actually dating. Which I can't really understand because they look very different, but whatever. <laughs> Why can I not adjust the bottom wing? Oh, I need to adjust this. Okay. Guess that will do. But yeah, I found that one pretty weird, especially as she looks. Not even like busy, but you know, more more exotic than Max. And it's like, you know, I think I saw a video where he said he was like a striker from the Bundesliga. It's like, that's the perfect description of what Max was happening. It's like, it's got granite chin, great header in balls, you know. He's your typical number, you know, number 10 striker. And there's Alonso at the top. What the hell? What is Norris doing up in fourth? You're not allowed to do that, Norris. Especially as we're, you know, fighting you in the championship. It's a shame Mick can't actually be shown. It seems like that's just an issue with the... Was it with the updated badges, I guess, I run for... I don't have it for Sauber actually. Well, I've got, as you can see, I've got it for Renault now. And then, what's it, RB. I'm guessing that's probably an issue from that. But I shouldn't have the, like, the timing glitches now. You should actually see all the timings and everything now. But yeah, it's just a shame I can't... Can't have Mick, the ghost, Schumacher. Had his name up there. Uh, who's that coming in? Oh, they're both coming in. Great, great. Only good on straights. Out there, Stroll. God, I don't like improving, do they? The setups.
I think I want to live in that island that's in the middle of the lake there. That'll be pretty cool. What's your feeling? Just have it. Shut just a little house there. Oh. What? He's still at 82. Maybe give you slightly less swing. And adjust that back. Oh my god, 1.5 seconds separating the field now. I don't think... Is anybody on hard? Both, both the Renaults are. I think that's going to be the session. Oh, yeah, I was trying to see what Magnuson's been on. What, have you, what size have you been on? Oh, no, he's been on hards. Okay, Lance, this will be checkered flag. Man, field is insanely close. 1.6 in the end, the gap as the clear goes a couple of tenths quicker at the end out of Alonso, Sainz, Albon. And Verstappen, then we've got Hamilton, Perez, the McLaren's looking decent. And home hero, Piastri, ahead of Sauber. We're getting the most laps in. There's uh, nice clear weather as we had the practice free. Yeah, I say that it's wet weather now. What the hell? <laughs> oh, thank God. I put them on. They are automatically on in because I thought I screwed up there. I was looking at the race where it says it's clear. Well, it's going to be interesting qualifying then if it's damp. Again, might be a good chance for us to get both drivers in the top 10. That's a snap and just blitzing everyone. Stroll is literally holding up his teammate, it looks like. And whoever else that is as well. Might be Hamilton. Yeah, it is Hamilton. Where was that meant to be at the top? I just noticed that. So I'm going to be a lake at the top as well, but it's not blue, it's like sandy. Balance check, Lance. Uh, feeling much better now. Copy that. Still just 82%? What the hell? Sure, I need you to get, you know, more confidence. About Ocon. Oh, he's up to fourth, sixth, seventh. And there's track drying out a bit. Oh, God, he's top. Stop the session. Oh, it's about to dry up now. God damn it. Shoal doing a good job. <laughs> uh, that's what we're waiting for. That's optional. They're still just good on the straights. I don't know what I have to do to improve setup for the straights. Uh, this is uh, Gazzy and Hulkenberg having some fun. Or 
Gassy having some fun. Uh, it's always getting dry now. Come in. Feedback on track condition. There's a little dry line developing. I think it's a bit bigger than little, Lance. I would fit the dries. Right, well, our time at the top was fun. <laughs> I think it's going to come crashing down now. Yeah, there goes the clear in the 20 flat. Oh, we're not too far off. How are the tyres? Tyres are low. Oh my god, he does a 19 flat now. What the hell? And we're actually on softs as well. We're a second slower than the Ferrari. Not going well. In fact, it's not going well for anyone. Look at that. Like, we've got Piastri in second. Eight. Oh, I'll come back up the second. Eight tenths back. Man, they're getting barely any feedback on their setups now. Why is everyone else so slow? Is no one else speeding up? You know, only it's like half the field of bodies to come out for dry session here. And there's Ocon heads back in, so the stroll. Both go out for a little gander in the last five minutes as well. How's the balance? Feeling good, Ben. Yeah, copy. Uh, how was the balance? Feels good so far. Copy. But yeah, no like Mercedes, no, Red Bull, know. Aston going out. Okay, so let's concentrate on the tyre warm up. It's like Joe, Magnussen. Maybe Bottas? I don't know. Okay, Lance, let's check a flag. I know Bottas has been out, I'll go. <laughs> oh, yeah, a bit of a split in practice strategy here. Yeah? Oh, guys, second and fourth then. Not too bad. And Seclair leads the way by eight tenths. We ignore that part. We've got B. Ashley and Norris, so we might be back in the McLarens then. Uh, so then we've got Science Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Gasly, Mick. And then, yeah, Joe at the back, just six seconds off. Uh, it's both guys pretty damn happy heading into qualifying. There's tension in the air today, so it must be time for qualifying. Uh, it's, oh, it's Inters as well. Let me just check the track conditions. Oh, it is going to dry out near the end of the session. You might as well wait till the end of the session then. Yeah, it's going to go up and down between dry and damp. This is going to be so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting for what five minutes to go till we go out. Only a couple guys have set that times as well. As everyone's going out when it before it dries up. What the hell? That's weird. Now it's drying up. Okay. All right, and now there is no water. All right. Let's send our guys out. So I'm just only going to get one lap in quarter point. Uh, 
Let's be on board with Stroll. Uh, so Alonso just 10 seconds off the pace. <laughs> Doing well. Right, let's start warming up the tyres. So I can fast Melbourne. Still prefer the other Melbourne before, you know, this got nip tucked. But still decent. Apart from that turn, was it five, where cars crash and come up, bounce onto the track? That's a pretty not great, but apart from that, it's alright. Now, if just happened, turn up the wick. So, is it to make Perez 177? And we still got the timing glitch. It must be another mod then. I've got the. <laughs> God damn it. It might just be in qualifying then it messes up, because it was definitely working in the races I practiced. Oh my god, get out of the way, McLaren! Oh, let's send off and out now as well. But yeah, not great for Stroll. As he runs towards the line. It's 10th. It's okay, it's okay. Should be should have been a lot better. Right, let's see if Ockham can do a better time. I mean, realistically, who's going to get ahead of Stroll, though? Is there six cars that could get ahead of him? I mean, we're looking at what? Russell, Leclerc. Oh, I didn't realise Leclerc was behind. And then we've got, what, Alonso. As well as Sonoda, maybe. Right, let's look at your splits, Ocon. 17 4 from Alonso. Oh, Stroll's going to be right on the limit. Because he's got look. Oh my god, get out of the way, Aston! Hang on, you're going to have to conserve fuel, mate. You're going to have to. You want to do this again? Alright, you're going to have to do another lap, Ocon. Yeah, Stroll's out. So I might Ocon. Yeah, cancel cooling. Oh yeah, Stroll's out. 18th. Only Piastri behind, and maybe Ocon. And that is the checkered flag. Let's see, does Ocon have enough fuel to do the whole lap? It's going to be close. The RS disabled, the RS disabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, copy. That's 10th, he does get through. Oh, it's our oh, strong Piastri out. Salbers and Holkenberg out. God damn it. At least Ocon somehow made it through at the end there with an 18 flat. Just six tenths off Alonso. That's not too bad. We've got Perez, Albon, Sainz, Hamilton, Russell, Verstappen, the Norris and Leclerc ahead of him. I mean, Gasly, Mick, Cardo, Magson, and Joe behind him. So we might have a chance still of a top 10 qualifying. We would take that with both hands. Uh, so let's see once again with the track conditions. Once again, we're going to leave it late, it looks like. Head out. Oh yeah, I can't believe those like cars just did run on the freaking racing line. Get out, get out Aston protested. That'd be pretty cool. If you had like a team principal and you saw that, you could actually like protest. Like people just, you know, holding you up and qualifying. Even though it doesn't work like 90% of the time, I think, but yeah. Right, it should start drying up now. 
Excellent, we're five minutes left. Right, Ocon, let's get you on the source. Try and time this right. That's not a good timing. Lucky they'll be slow and we can push a bit. Right, nice. We've got clear track in front, I think. Yeah, beautiful. Right, here we go, Ocon. One that specialist. Magnuson at the top of a 19 2. That's not. Very competitive at all. Perhaps an F2 car might go quicker than that. I don't know. <laughs> nah. I don't know what low 20s aren't they around here. Yeah, so here we go. Ocon time. So 18.7 from Russell is the target. That could be doable. Did what? 19 flat in. If you want it, it's purple. Purple first sector. Uh, so who's that? That's Mick going to the top now with an 18-3. Purple middle sector. Ocon flying. As Mercedes trying to hold us up in the final sector. Well, that Donai Ocon, though. Oh, second behind Norris. But still great that. 18-1. 18, 18 one. So that'd be enough to go through. Let's see. You can get ahead of in the Ferraris and Hamilton. So that'd still be, what, eighth? I reckon. At worst, let's see. And it's Ocon in. And yes, it is Q3. Nicely done, Ocon. Uh, as joining him is Verstappen, Alonso, Perez, Hamilton, the Ferraris, Leclerc and Science, Norris. Gasly and Albon. Right, here we go then. Another, again, another wet qualifying free at the beginning at least. Let's see, track conditions. Oh, they are going to be wet the whole way through. Alright, might as well just go out now and set a banker. Have some fun. I can't remember if we have to be careful of the inters like temperature wise or if we can just push them. I don't remember what we can do. Or maybe go aggressive with them on this out lap. Oh god, no, I should not have gone aggressive with them. Oh no, they've gone over heat so easily. Ah, who cares? Alright, push off on, do what, a 25 or something? Actually no, it would be around FD time, wouldn't it be like a 22, 23 they're aiming for? But it's great that it's a wet session though, this is our best chance of getting, you know, maybe a surprise top 5 in qualifying, who knows? Ocon did get, what is it, at the top? In into his practice and practice free. That's a cross science go. He's going to be a 23. 23 free. All right. We'll take that. Hey Delta, I knew what season are you in and how long has your save been? I'm on I'm only on season two. I've only doing two seasons until the was the next game is out. I was oh my god, we're silent album, what the heck? We're cooking the Ferraris though, I'll take that. Oh look at Norris being second. Alright. But yeah, we're only in like Australia, we're only in the third round. The second season. 
All right, let's put some fresh inters on. Let me go out now. Guessing it's going to be nice and dry. All right, we know not to push the inters on the outlet. <laughs> okay, we've learned that. But yeah, we're trying to get like Williams to like top five in the standings here, maybe top four even, like Battle of McLaren and Alpine Renault here. Alright, alright. But yeah, where are you, Delta? Are you doing a save as well? Right, here we go. Come on, throw back to Livy. Give, give us some pace. As Alvin's gone to the top of a 20 on 4. What the hell? Maybe the track's getting drier. Who knows? Let's see. First bit's green. And then second split will be round 19.5. We've got the long third split. Maybe the track is getting quicker. Alonso at the top. Just hit of our bond. It's tenth at the moment, but we are green, green, and green as well. Fifth, not too bad. Not quite to the twenty ones, but twenty two three improvement of a second. We'll take it. Just as long as everyone else does not improve. <laughs> but Nicholas tumble down to tenth. I'm guessing. Let's see. Oh, not actually. Down to six. We might be ahead of Gasly, actually. Let's see. What's it? Gasly. Gasly did it. Oh, six. We'll take that. We'll take that. Third row of the grid alongside Hamilton. As there's an Aston Martin front row. Alonso of Albon. Team double A. Or triple A, really. And then we've got Sainz and Perez on the second row. Gansley and Leclerc behind us, and then Verstappen and Norris on the fifth row. The red line teammates. What the hell? Welcome to race day. And before we get down to it, last minute checks are being made. Nah, not here. <laughs> we're, still, we're still part of getting sick. All right, let me... I mean, Stroll's right at the back. We might as well give him the endurance strategy. Should we say given the mediums? Or is it better to be on softs, maybe? Be in line with everyone. Right, we'll give Albon Ock on the softs. Nah, let's give him mediums. He can have like clearer in the middle of the part of the race then. So if he overtakes some guys on strategy. All right, turning up to the wick. Yeah, I just started modded William, uh, modded Williams career. Nice. What mods have you have you got for it? I wish I started this career with like the updated like driver list and stuff. Then I have like, was it power award in my team? No doubt. But before I had a eight season McLaren saving noise as a four time champion, Beerman as a two timer. Nice. But well, do you have Norris and Behrman together? That's probably like their team to have in like five years, isn't it? What's your wish list for F1 Manager 24? Hmm. It will be like management outside of the races. Like, I think in the races is pretty good. Just making the AI a bit smarter. Which I think which they're working on about anyway. Fans here in Melbourne are all set. As are the drivers heading into Oh my god, the red Oh I didn't realise the Renault. This could be a screen brought all the I'll take your team every as well. Or team seats. I, I will, it's stroll. Right. And also having your my team. 
which is like the first time ever in their full management game. I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, maybe just a bigger list of drivers that are not in F1 as well. That'd be really cool. Uh, so yeah, Stroll, you're going on maximum attack, all right? Do your best, Lance. Yeah. <laughs> Lance Stroll is so, so enthusiastic. Copy. All right, Ocon's holding on in sixth actually behind Hamilton. That's pretty cool. Look at this. We actually get to see the front of the field. Look at that, Alonso holding off Sainz. We've got Albon. Oh, Albon down the third. Then we've got Perez Hamilton. Gasly, Leclerc, Verstappen, Norris behind. Oh, was, oh, Russell's down in 12. I totally missed that in qualifying. But yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, quite, I said like off the... Oh, gosh. Oh, come on, Stroll, you're back in for the wooden spoon. Well, I thought you were making up places. There's the opening. Yeah, just went round the outside. But yeah, I would like... Hmm. Actually, modding's pretty easy with this. As someone who doesn't make mods, I say that. But yeah, actually, modding the game is... I guess making mods is a bit harder, it seems like, but... Oh my god, Lance. Alright, we're just going to have you cruise at the back. Jesus. You just cruise. <laughs> Look at this. Ocon battling for top five. Stroll cruising at the back. But yeah, like more management outside, so like managing like sponsors... A bit like how you could in like Grand Prix Manor, Grand Prix World back in the day. Uh, so it's like we're defending from the Claire. Bye, Leclerc. And soon Verstappen's going to follow as well. I just updated the driver's grids. Oh, and RB and state stuff like that. Oh, okay, so a bit like what I've done there as well. Doris was just off six season for Cash Evil 3. Joe for one. What? <laughs> it didn't work out. Aw. He seems like he's a driver who could develop well, but maybe he's a bit of these and odors. You know, you, you can develop well, but then there's like been in it, unfortunately, as well. As here comes for Stappen now on us. And side Bearman and Maloney for a world we build. Oh yeah, Maloney's like one of the top guys as well. <laughs> I wonder how I wonder how rated he's going to be in F1 Manager 24 because of course he's you know, leading F2. But it's not a name that's really mentioned about drivers coming onto the grid next year, which is a bit surprising. I would have thought maybe Haas or someone would be like looking at him, but I guess they're trying to get bare men, I guess, or instead, or even someone like Sauber. They're kind of clinging on to DRS here at the moment with Ocon. And she's just clinging on ahead of Verstappen as well. Also give the driver some personalities. Yeah, I would love that as well. Where... I guess it's a bit like MotoGP career as well, where, you know, they give you... Well, I guess it would be for an R sake, actually, with the fellow F1 managers, I guess, not just drivers. But, yeah, with our fellow like, F1 managers, let me just turn those hot ties down a bit. As you try and defend from Verstappen, what the hell? Ocon, you're defending clean air, mate. What are you doing? I think he's just giving the inside, has he? No, holding on. But... Yeah, I'd love for yeah drivers have personalities and and your fellow team principals as well. So you actually have like a rivalry with some someone going on, or you know, say you know you know they talk smack when you nick their drivers in this. I would actually like that to extend to actually you know like oh we're gonna beat you next race, and you be, and then you be back like no we're gonna beat you, and then have like a little incentive or something like. I don't know how you, I guess you manage it, I guess it'd be 
manage like you know how they manage the team grades and manager ratings and stuff if i have like a little rivalry bar or something or friendly bar i guess something like that with your fellow team managers that would be pretty cool so if we poach say like adrian newey even though he's not in the game but you know if he was in the game, he'd approach Adrian Newey from Red Bull. Red Bull would be like, you bastards, we hate you. Yeah, and then it would actually interest in having a rivalry with Red Bull. So if you like battled, I don't know, Perez or Verstappen with your team, like they would actually, you know, battle harder or like force you off the track or something like that. Like it'd be more difficult to fight them rather than, as you say at the moment, it's just no personalities, unfortunately. And in the was it drivers it's a huge shame there's like there's like so much potential in what was it frontier have made here it's just so much work to what we what we want mm -hmm. uh, so it seems like mercedes in cruising mode again russell's still in 12. they're all, they're all going a bit stroll aren't they the lance is like just cruising back here As Nor Norris has got past Verstappen? What is going on here? There's Alonso in sights back in for the lead as well. Same as Perez and Albon. Looks like Verstappen has got down the inside of Ocon finally. As we're all kind of jammed up behind Hamilton here. Oh, we even got the Renaults here as well. Here's Russell. We have a gap to Magnussen who's holding off Joe. And then Ricardo is holding off Bottas, Hulkenberg, Piastri, Sonoda. Here's Stroll. He's, he's still in the race somehow. That's now Norris has got past. So he must have done it on the outside, I think. In now the focus is on Lando Norris here. Yeah, turn 13. It's certainly inviting. Oh, he's down, down the inside. All right. Oh, yeah, we are trying to manage things a bit better with Ocon at the moment. Uh, let's use that. It's Verstappen getting past Hamilton in front as well. Looks like he's got up to sixth. Now Hamilton holding on. Go on, just take each other out. Come on. <laughs> Be like 2021 again. Right. He's also doing fresh for a yearly game, so I guess we yeah, can cut them some slack. Yeah, I was really worried we wouldn't have a game this year because they had, you know, they're one of many companies, unfortunately. We had like cuts as well last year, but oh my god, Ocon, your tyres are not looking great. I might need the two stop you. Because yeah, we have drops off a cliff. There's a yellow flag. <laughs> have you done something, Stroll? No. There's our Joe. Oh, the infamous turn seven. The team glued to the monitors and watching their hopes crumble away. Yeah, they can vet the game, so in the future, like by 25, 20, it'll be perfect. But as long as they listen to the community, yeah. That's always the big thing, though, like getting. Okay, mate, let's try and protect the tyre. Oh, was it just a local yellow? What the hell? Let's pick our pace up, let's go. But well, then I was prepared to go in like safety. Was it virtual safety car mode there? Right, let's push a bit on the tyres. There's no way we're making it to that 20 anyway. Yeah, so we might convert that hard into a medium, medium stint now. Uh, so Russell's starting to make moves. Getting past Mick. Because they're all bunched behind us. And there's Hamilton still holding off Verstappen as well in all of this. It's like Sainz and Alonso, all Spanish battle for the win. Albon holding off Leclerc. Remember when he started behind us? Oh, that was pretty good, wasn't it? And then we've got Perez, Hamilton. Trying to Verstappen, let's see. Ah, oh, Verstappen got it easy. How about Ocon? Ocon and Gasly, good friends. Was, oh my god, Stroll's actually done something. What the? It was the Williams driver we see there. It's there for the taking. Oh my God, Lance. What a move. 
Then that didn't happen. All right, let's go back to me. Tires are really hot. What the? I mean, Stroll's probably battling someone with, what, 30% tyres? 48% tyres. Same as us. Same as Ocon. Actually, all the all the medium runners come into the fall. Actually, I'll say that. All the soft runners are... Top 5 all soft runners. Alright. Might might be Stroll's time to shine, though. As well as he's, he's going to, like, that 22. So I might make him a medium, medium soft, then. Run up. All right, let's pit next up. The mediums on. But yeah, managing yeah, regional questions. I don't use I know just managing like off track, like managing sponsors, actually building relationship with the drivers as well. I know you can manage how you develop them but I think in like any racing game really you haven't had that relationship with your driver so that'd be pretty cool to do uh, science pitting early yeah, science going on to the softs how about Ricardo he's going on to mediums oh my god he's run over our pit crew uh, there's a mix got past us as well Oh yeah, that'd be pretty cool actually, you know, give your drivers objectives and again, you know, a bit like the conference meter, if they meet it, it's good, if they don't meet it, it's bad. Like simply like that, that'd be pretty cool. Oh my god, even getting overtaken by a horse, yeah, definitely a good time to, <laughs> it's a good time to pit. And then yeah, try and actually negotiate with sponsors, like you have, like you used to do in the older F1 manager games. Same with what you would do with like the engines or power units as well, instead of just being I'm gonna sign you. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Alright, let's see what you can do, Ocon on fresh tires. We're way who else pity? It was Ricardo, wasn't it? We're way out of Ricardo, okay, that's good. Oh yeah, hot race. Uh, is Ferrari back on softs? Yeah, they did that with science as well. As in comes Piastri. From mediums? Onto softs? What the hell? There are some funky strategies out here. Is Magnussen on a Haas is suddenly been the king of tire wear, it's like. Actually, he's not. He's got 48% compared to, what, 64 for Verstappen? Hamilton's only at 47 What is going on in this race with the strategy? It's all over the place. Alright, Ocon catching up to Joe. Uh, so the Astons are stacking. So Albon with a very slow stop in this, like on the mediums. And then Alonso's come out on the softs. Couple cars off there. There's Joe Pitts just in the nick Just of time. going through there. Uh, so let's see what's happened. Oh, it's Mick. Mick and Magnussen. <laughs> see, I wanted to improve the crashing as well, but it is pretty hilarious when it happens. just feel the frustration from the team watching on the... It's VSC time. Virtual safety card. Stay positive. Big shunt. Watch for debris. Huh? Unfortunately for Stroll, I've just passed the pits. Otherwise, that would be a good time to pit. We'll see if any of the leaders come in. Surely a good time for Perez to get off those softs. Nope. What do I know? Magnussen getting a time penalty. Oh my god, Mercedes making a good strategy call. Getting Hamilton in. I know it's a very slow stop. Now what happened there, so any advantage he would have gained the is Mercedes gone. Crew are out. Oh yeah, they just stared at his car. 
Do it. Salton back out behind the clears behind Bottas on the Sauber. Head of Albon still though, so Albon's like pit issues even worse than Hamilton's. Alright, it's okay for Ocon though, like the few drivers in front having issues. Or having to pit, sorry. And no straw. How far behind Sonoda are you? You're four seconds back. I was hoping you'd be a bit closer than that <laughs> to the Sauber. Mm -hmm. Might be a good time to pitch straw, maybe get him off these mediums then. What lap is it? It's 20. Yeah. Right, let's get him onto more mediums then. Enabled, DRS enabled. Well, I'm hoping it still works to Stroll's advantage, but let's see. 2.4 stop, very good. Alright, time to push shock on. Time to push Stroll. Charge is good. Alright, let's see what we can do though. So, Stroll in 17th. I've gained a couple of seconds, but not as much as we would like. I've gone five seconds behind Sonoda, but running hard. Not as hard as Piaschi though. 20.5 faster to that for the good eye, Miro. Is he going that much quicker than us then? I mean, he is on soft, so yeah, we're doing 23 flats. Wow. I'm surprised with the lack of pit stops though. As you can see, like, what's it, top five have not pitted. Then we've got Bottas, Hulkenberg, and Sonoda here in the midfield as well. As far as that Vauclair for 20.1 as Bottas comes in. Maybe a lap too late to go on to those softs. Let's see, he might work out. He'll come out ahead of Stroll, won't he? Let's see how quick Ocon can close up to the snow. There's a second quicker, or second half quicker per that. But yeah, but neither of the Red Bulls pit. I'm surprised teams have not pitted both their cars, or at least one of their cars as well. Alright, Ocon pushing hard. Can afford that at the moment. This is Verstappen in all over the back of Norris. Verstappen with best tyres out of the non-stoppers so far. And easily round the outside of Norris. Or not. Watch on the battle back hard. Oh, you got the DRS as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely good. Down for Verstappen. So Alonso with the fastest lap, 19-4. Remember, he's on fresh tyres. He's the lead fresh tyre runner on those softs. But yeah, we still got a seven cars, like a third of the grid yet to pit. Let's see round two then for Sapping and Norris. Shall we going to make that move down the inside again or to the outside? And Norris covers them. Norris actually doing a good job for Verstappen's team at Perez there, holding them off. As Perez pits, so does Norris. Verstappen staying out. So that's mediums for Perez. Mediums for Norris. So these just five cars left to pit. As here's Science all over Russell. I remember Russell stayed out. Over Verstappen, Gasly, Hulkenberg and Sonoda. Hulkenberg's on 28% tyres. Are you kidding, us? How can he have a good strategy with... What's it, Magnussen? But a horrible one with Hulkenberg. I know, Magnussen 
came out, didn't he? <laughs> At least it was looking good with Magnuson until he you no know, binned it. It's uh, been actually catching up to us, but he is on soft, so fair enough. So we're approaching our frame mark for this race. I have no idea how this is going to pan out as Leclerc gets past Russell. Hulkenberg finally pits. Took him 10 years. As he gets some fresh mediums on. Are they trying to like one stop? Surely not. As Pashi must have gone down now the inside of the Right, we're taking the second corner. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. As you can see, they're doing 21s. We're like 22s. <laughs> Trying to make our mediums last a bit here. Until like, la what, that 40? I'm hoping. Uh, as Alonso caught up to Verstappen. So Alonso basically I've pit stop ahead of Verstappen here. As, oh my god, Stroll's now, made a move. See what happened. Now let's take a look here at turn 10. The gap opens up for them. Kind of the favourite overtaking place in real life now. There you go, Stroll. Uh, as long as they're just Frederick in the throttle there behind Verstappen. What the hell? Uh, so they go easy around the outside. So, multi car crash again. Track. I want to see who it is. Now we're with Lewis Hamilton. Here. Oh, it's Hamilton Gasly. It so close. The car's coming together right Oh, who thought it was that from Gasly? That. Trying to take him out in the grass. That's good for us, though. That's one of our, like, championship rivals having an absolute mare there. Oh, you going to pit? No. Interesting. Renner Alpine obviously decided not to get any points this race. Interesting strategy that is. So here comes Piaschi to the inside of Sonoda. Yeah, there's no way he's Hamilton getting a penal penalty for that, is he? I oh, know, he did kind of force... Was it Gasly off? So I guess that is fair. But doesn't like either of them have got a penalty. What the hell? I went on the inside, never could historically. Cries an album there. Like. <laughs> this is pretty good for us. The Great Wolf Sonoda is holding up Piastri here. Let's see if we can follow the Aussie through, maybe. And neither of them are making a move here. Sonoda's not really defending, Piastri's not really attacking. There we go, finally do to the inside. Right, I'll on time to deploy a bit so you can follow through. That's not following through, Ocon. Come on. <laughs> there we go to the outside. Nice move. Alright. Up to twelve. Put DS on Piastri now all of a sudden. Thanks to all this. And he's down to 53% tyres. Same for Hamilton and Sainz. Leclerc as well, pretty though. Now Alonso leading's barely quicker than Verstappen on his mediums, which are like 20% more worn. Again, I don't know how this is going to work out this race. Alright, let's push again a bit with Ocon. So you can maybe clear Piastri. That'd be pretty nice as we've got Bottas closing in as well. He's got past his teammate. Who, again, has not pitted yet. <laughs> the same with Gasly, Russell and Verstappen. I I, there must be one stopping. I do not understand it. Considering how... I mean, the temperature has gone down, actually. It's gone down to 18.8. It was like 27. I know. I know track temp was 27, wasn't it? So track temp stayed the same. But air temperature's gone cooler. 
Okay, maybe the tyres are lasted longer, I guess, then, but I still find it insane that a quarter of, well, a fifth of the field have not pitted yet. Well, let's see if Bottas can make the move on Piastri as we try and get into the last range of Gasly. We have to confront the flying fin. And so you go the best mates again. Gazi and Ocon together. Well, Gazi must have a really damaged car because, my God. That's <laughs> like in taking candy from a baby, that. As, oh, my God, Stroll Let's watch. Take a closer look. So we're heading now into turn five. The opportunity begging to be taken. Nice. I've kind of forgotten Stroll's in the race, to be honest. But he's, he's, he's up to 18, but it's like Bottas has got past Gasly now as well. Fortunately for us, we've got a 17 second gap in front as Gasly's decided to finally pit. As he's getting a new front wing as well for his troubles. Getting some new soft tyres as well. Alright, what are you doing out for Stappen? Sure you're pitting this lap. 31% tyres. What about you, Russell? 32% tyres. As he's just been overtaken by... Who's that? Paris and Hamilton. So it goes for Sapping onto softs. So let's take a look at the replay. Now this one involves Stroll. Oh God, he's making another move again. All right. And it goes Russell onto softs as well. So that just leaves... Sonoda out there. Oh, he decided to finally pit as well. So yeah, they've been holding out for this one stop then. So I've got a mixture of one and two stop, is it? And as I said, I don't know what is going to work out here. As Bottas is over the back of us. Now talk us through this one, Karoo. The Alfa Romeo team there standing by. Oh, they just stare at you. Oh, well. I hate it when they just stare at you. <laughs> Right, you've got to remember Bottas is on softs, even though they're more worn than our ties now. They are soon they're going to go off, though. I see he goes Stroll. He's actually hunting down Ricardo at the moment. <laughs> Crazy, you might get a point with Ocon, and Stroll might be there as well if he can... I said he's stick with the tail. Uh, it's got the Ferraris battling over second. So there goes Here's Bottas the past us. Right, we're down at turn five. But remember, he's probably going on to they mediums, to I guess. Let's really somehow fit that sour in there. Oh, you've got to show him the edges of the grass. As in, it's like he's got past back or back past. Let's see what happened there. Now we're watching Esteban Ocon here. Yeah, down the inside. Oh. Outside, maybe. There's probably still line of stern. Remember, they're on the similar strategy as well. I'm surprised Sainz has not been called in. I guess they're holding out a couple of laps. There's Piastri. First of the two stoppers then is in. Or first of the two stoppers to pit again. He's gone to softs. Does everyone really believe in the softs are holding out? <laughs> Feels like medium's the tyre to go on. Like mediums are easily making it at least 20 laps. Probably more. Uh, Samilton pits as well. So he going to the softs. Getting a new front winger. So, oh yeah, he had that contact, didn't he? Uh, so he's finally back out ahead of teammate Russell, maybe. And he's behind us as well. And Bottas. Ahead of Ricardo. He's just ahead of Stroll. He's still batting hard with Holkenberg. My God, where's Holkenberg? He's on fresher mediums. No wonder he's wanting to get by then. Oh yeah, might be a good time to pit Ocon soon. Yeah, as fast as that for Verstappen. What's Verstappen on? He's on softs. Stay cool, man. You've done a good job. 
I made a mistake. Keep pushing. All right, Stroll, we get it. You you made a mistake. All right. Calm down, man. God, he's he's flying off the handle, isn't he, Stroll? Right, so we've got to pit strolls soon now. Into freaking softs. Why right, everyone is pitting? Ferrari double stacking. As they go onto mediums. With Leclerc. What about Albon? Albon's onto mediums. Sainz onto mediums. Oh, but he's lost the place to Albon. Bottas pitting. Okay, we've got to respond to Bottas. What are you going on to? There's another yellow flag out. Goes onto softs. Here we are then at the 11th corner. Uh, let's go, oh, trying to defend. Hope, but that's just the risk you take. The later you leave. All right, time to pit Ocon. I don't know if we've been on the mediums. We've been on the mediums a very long time. Let's fight soft with soft, shall we? I know Sauce would tell at the beginning of the race, but it should be much better now. As Bottas battling Piaschi as well, that's helping us. As Alonso pits from the lead as well, what's he going on? He's going on to mediums. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. I do have a fresh set of mediums as well. Oh, let's go on to mediums. Let's play it safe. And I was pitting just before Hamilton it starts battling us as well, so that's good timing. Remember, we've got to put a stroll on to softs as well for final stop. 2.7. Comes out ahead of Piastri. Oh! Just ahead of Bottas. And as Ricardo comes out on to softs. Right, stroll into the points. Well, it's got to pit very soon. Actually, let's put him on softs now. What can he do, stroll? I bet he's got like good tire management, stroll, so he should make these softs last till the end. And this is a Red Bull one too, as well. Just noticed. Looks like for stuff, I'm going to make the move on Perez though. We go to the inside. Uh, stroll out in last. It was worth dropping Albon for sure at the beginning of the year, wasn't it? As uh, Ripples are starting to go to walk. Who's gone off now? Oh, Let's Joe, come on. Let's have a look then at turn six. Oh, once again defending too hard. Struggling with the car. And they ended up their own passenger. I suppose he didn't end up in the rule there. Uh, as Perez fighting back against Verstappen. As uh, Ocon past Piastri. It was the Williams driver we and we've there. held off Bottas as well. Good. It's there for the taking. Nice move, Ocon. As you can see, we're just two and a half seconds off a point as well. As, oh my god, Piastri trying to fight back. That's it, Ocon. Come on, no, we can see Hulkenberg in front as well. We do just want to hold on until we get into his DRS. No saying that Hulkenberg's going to pit now, isn't he? Oh, no. Once again, Ocon defending thin air. What the hell? Right, there you go. Into Hulkenberg's trail. Got to time this right, though. He's got 15 laps to go. 
Stroll's caught up to Sonoda and Ricardo now. That's it, Ocon to the inside. Up to 10th. You know, Hulkenberg's got DRS. Oh my god, he's going to be a pain in our ass again. Alright. Uh, Stroll now, got past Sonoda. Let's have a look at the action. It's all at the final corner. We kind of missed a pass, Crofty. <laughs> it's like he dived to the inside in the corner before. Let's use some ERS with Stroll for once. As Ricardo, not Ricardo, Alonso with the fire start 89 as he gets up to third. Get the tyres down now. Head of Norris. I need more. What Push skill? Oh no, we can't buy that, mate. Right. No more ERS. Yeah, so we're out of DRS on Holkenberg. Nice, so we've got that gap. And here goes Stroll to the inside of Ricardo. Right, next on the list is Gazzy, six seconds up the road. Oi, Ricardo, what are you doing? I mean, we are on similar tyres to Ricardo, so no wonder he's fighting impact then. Right, Ocon in a nice, nice pocket in 10th as Hulkham is dropping down the order now. Those worn mediums. Uh, it's maybe Alonso's favourite to win this, and it's like in third. Look at those fresh tyres compared to everyone around him. We've got Norris just seven seconds off the lead as well. So he might get a podium. Uh, there's another yellow flag. Who's that? Russell? Albon? It was Albon. Let's take a closer look. Now here we are at the final corner. Trying to attack for six. And there goes the steering. Now they did leave it very late. Yeah, that's not how you attack for six. As he drops behind Russell. Still comfortably ahead of Hamilton. Looks so like we've got stroll out of DRS range from Ricardo now. And we finally have to turn down the wick on our engines. Alright, so Bottas up to 11th then. Just half a second ahead of Piastri. We're way behind Hamilton, unfortunately. I don't know how we're so far back. Was that just because we pitted early? We just got kind of caught up in the pack. Of course, we were, what, five seconds behind Hamilton before the pit stops? Now we're, what, ending 16 seconds behind him? But yeah, and it's like Ocon's got good pace to hold off Bottas in its sight. Like. Even with no ERS. And we're just getting to top it up, maybe. <laughs> right, and Stroll is gaining on Gasly. So you never know. Outside chance for Stroll to get maybe 11th, but doesn't seem it might be too little too late. And Verstappen finally got over a second window on Perez, but it looks like Alonso's now trying to overtake the Mexican. To the inside in three and four. There we go, Alonso. Ten laps to go, over a second to close the gap to the lead. As he got Leclerc in fourth ahead of Norris. Actually, Norris has dropped back, hasn't he, by Leclerc? He has. Looks like Science is going to close in on him as well. Then we've got Russell, Albon, Hamilton, ourselves. As we build the gap on Piastri, got equal pace to Hamilton actually though in this stint. And oh, looks like Bottas is back behind the McLaren. We've got Holkenberg, Gasly, Stroll, Ricardo, Sonoda, and Joe, who's had a nightmare of a second half of the race. There we go, Alonso over the back of Verstappen. He's going to make the move early. There's all virtual safety car. What's happened? And here we've got a yellow flag. <gasps> Science! 
Out from six. Over the curb. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. So that's another point for us. Follow the delta. Could be up. Just focus on those temps. As you can see how spread out the field is. Joe's like batting for fifth or sixth. <laughs> and yeah, Hamilton a bit lonely in eighth. And VSC ending. Help me. Okay, let's go. No saving required. DRS. And there we go. Battle for the lead going on. As it's Alonso, V for Sappen. Oh, into turn 13, maybe to the inside for Sappen holds it. Alonso around the outside for the lead. He's made it stick. And that's for Sappen on worn soft, so I don't think he's going to be closing up to Alonso anytime soon. I mean, he does have ERS, it looks like, but apart from that, he's been closing up. Okay, deployment should be good. Yeah. All right, sure, use a bit of deployment now because Ricardo's closed back in on you. Yeah, and it's like Alonso's going to pull away now as you've got Perez, Leclerc, Norris. And of Albon, he's got back ahead of Russell. We've got Hamilton dropping back. Off on comfortably ahead of this battle for the final point between Sauber and McLaren, between Bottas and Piastri. It looks like Stroll has got out of the Arsene Ricardo now. That's why Sakima and is doing so well even in Season 2. I know, they've made like such a leap forward. Like in the first race of the year, they just finished 6th, I think, with Norris or 5th. And yeah, they're doing it again here in Australia. But did McLaren not leap forward for you, did it? Was it like a gradual kind of, you know, climb up? Uh, so go on board with Stroll. We'll see if we can close up to... To Hulkenberg, who, you know, he's got... Ga oh, Gazzy's just passed Hulkenberg, and it's like... Uh, it's all nutty here, though. Uh, so cut off. Ricardo runs this wide. Right, here's the action at turn 10. Which is pretty good because he's pretty close to Stroll. Won't help their chances. Oh, he just cut the course. That's not running wide. Taking the shortcut there. Yeah, let's come on, Stroll. Get into DRS and then I can actually save a bit of DRS maybe for the last two laps. Do you have a fave driver and team? I don't really anymore. I used to really like, you know, when I first got into F1, it was Ferrari. It was Schumacher. <laughs> Like, it was that era. But, I did have, like, lots of other favourites on the grid though, at that time, like Vilna, Barrichello, as well. Like, the underdogs are, like, Jordan. As, what the hell was that, Stroll? Yeah, idiot just died on me. You okay? Here we are, we're dive looking at you. How can he bite dive bomb you when you're on the outside? At this point. You're the one who dive bomb him, Stroll. What the hell? But yeah, at the moment, I just... Three laps to go. I just have, like, lots of favourites, really. I mean, I quite like most of the grids. There's, like, Alonso, Verstappen, Leclerc, Norris, Albon, Russell, Hamilton. Or Piastri. Job. So the answer lot, you know, the best driver ever. <laughs> kind of Hulkenberg, 
Was it Ricardo, Sonoda, Joe? Sainz. So yeah, quite a lot of the grid really. I don't really have any favourite teams either, as I said. It used to be Ferrari, but now it's more like most of the teams. Probably Williams is my favourite, but I wouldn't really say I have a favourite though. I just want to see Williams, you know, get towards the front again like they did, you know, a decade ago. That'd be really nice. All right, Rod and Stroll. <laughs> There's Alonso on the last lap. Back off now. Okay. Gotta do a massive victory, that. Seven and a half seconds ahead of this happen. Got a battle going on for the final podium places. Leclerc just sent it on Perez. Literally no reply from the Red Bull at the moment. And he does have worse tyres, so yeah, there'll be no reply. Nice of a good top five ahead of Albon. He should have been in the top five if he didn't make that mistake when behind Russell. And this would have had better pace than Hamilton, actually. And it's like, it's promising we've got, like, Mercedes pace. It's not promising that we fell back in the strategy. Yeah. As in, it's like... Stroll will not have enough time to catch up to his battle for the final podium place. Or point, sorry, should I say. Let's see, it goes Fernando doing something we've probably never seen in real life again. <laughs> Who knows? Aston might make a stop there. But yeah, there you go. Alonso winning. What an achievement. Sometimes you take the incredible skill of these drivers for granted, but not today. No energy. Yeah, look at Ocon. It's like pretty lonely here in night. He's done a great job. Oh, I should have just pushed. I should have just pressed deploy for the whole lap, shouldn't I? Is available. Copy that. Yeah, and it's like Bottas, and it's like Sauber's going to score the final point. Incredibly. As uh, here's Stroll, just a couple of seconds off in the end. Check the flag. Okay, so we finish up P9 there, P9. Mega, mega, mega. Ah, <laughs> great job, guys. God damn it. Just three seconds away from the double Let's points finish. That's been 12. That's a very tidy afternoon, well done. Good effort, guys. I wish I should have actually paid Stroll attention up. to Stroll in the early part of the race. It wasn't like five seconds wide in the field. Now that's an excellent drive today from Esteban Ocon. Yeah, two points. The only bad thing is that McLaren got 10, so... We're way behind them in the, what's it, battle for fifth. But hey, at least Al Renault Alpine didn't get any points. Uh, so there we go. Fernando at the top, ahead of Verstappen. We had a good race from ninth. Same for Leclerc from eighth, ahead of Perez, Norris, Albon, Russell, Hamilton. Mercedes having a bit of a mare weekend. As Russell with a mare qualifying, but made it up with a good race. And Hamilton with a good qualifying, but with a bit of a mare race. Then Ocon, I know he's down three places, but this is probably where we expect to finish. Like, maybe better than Mercedes, who knows? In future, it has Bottas from 17th, gets the final point for Sauber, ahead of Piastri from the back, up to 11th, and same for Stroll from the back, up to 12th. Alpine, Renault Alpine, a poor, poor race for them. Gazi from 7th and qualifying to 13th, then Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, and Joe. Uh, science crashing out of Sith and Schumacher and Magnussen crashing out the potentially scoring some points as well. So for Stappen, leads away ahead of Alonso just by 12 points. Then we've got Leclerc for the 12 points back. Ahead of Perez in Albon, Science, Norris, Russell, Hamilton, Gazi. Ocon up three places with first points of the season ahead of Stroll. And then we've got Bottas with the first one, the year, well, first point in his career actually for Salva. And it's Piastri, Joe, Mick, Sonoda, Ricardo, and the Haases. And in the teams, 32 point lead for Red Bull over Aston Martin. Then we've got Ferrari, and the big gap to Mercedes and McLaren battling over fourth. Williams are up to sixth ahead of Alpine, or Renner Alpine. And then we've got Salva and RB. With RB and Haas yet to score. As, oh, we got second in the pit stop challenge. Nice. 
So Means are up to fifth in the standings as McLaren lead the way by 10 points at a Red Bull. Then a massive gap to Aston Martin, Ferrari ourselves, RB, Mercedes, Renner Alpine, Sauber and Haas. Yeah, not too bad in the end. As you can see, qualifying was a mare for Stroll. Qualifying was superb for Alcon, superb race as well. And yeah, Stroll, if I'm actually paying attention to it, you might have nicked a point at the end, but... We will take that. Oh yeah, who's your favourite driver in Team Delta? I've got to, got to ask you. Get 19's Williams back. Oh, I would love that. I'd love to. I'd love if there was like the 90s liveries as well. That's what I'd really want. As as good as 2006 liveries, like the 90s liveries would have been really nice. In this. I know there's like a 1991 mod actually as well for who's been smoking on the premises again but yeah there was a 1991 mod for what's it F1 manager 22 which I'm surprised we don't have for this one but would have been nice to try out as Oh yeah, they won't let me go up again. There you go. No, they got a fa fantastic performance. <laughs> we still carried over the high speed corner at least from last year, and we've got great acceleration. So it might be good round Monaco, but yeah, don't look at everything else. All right, we're going through things. Okay. <laughs> uh, so let me see. Cost cap. How much did we spend last month then? Oh, he gained 2.2 mil. Okay, that's not too bad. As uh, what we got, we got the Raging Bulls getting a wind tunnel upgrade. We've got Sauber talking about how they scored a point. Driver development. Stroll's got more control apparently. Ocon's quicker at least. He got better braking. And better reactions. And same for for sure. Better better cornering as well. But he's way behind on development compared to our drivers. Got high confidence from the from the board. Let me see. So Oh yeah, we've got to do fifty million amount of gym training, don't we? No rest. Just gym. <laughs> like, Now we won't push them too hard. Alright. Uh, monthly car development. Oh yeah, we know that that's pretty bad. So just waiting for the chassis and side pods. And we've got new chassis coming as well. We've got spare chassis parts coming as well. Oh, I'm missing out. Oh, I'm missing out on F2 and F3, aren't I? So in F2, Vesti wins ahead of Fitter Powdy and Bearman. And then in F3, we've got Teresa, Super Vader, Juan Mal Correa, and Johnny Edgar. I wish, again, in F124, that we wouldn't have so many regens already in like the second season. I mean, even in... What's it, F2? There's so many, like... You know, fake people already. Like we've got Amberly Myers, uh, Sandro Conte, Chulium Bo, Udidigu, Didiki, even, Joseph Roth, Daniel Distantis, who else is there? Carlos Fernandez, I think, Martha Capretto, Nicholas Winstone, like, that's what, a third of the grid? Which is like, Quite a lot. And then we've got the likes of Amory Cordell dropping down from F2 to F3 as well, which... Unless you're someone who's, you know, coming back from a life-threatening injury like Korea, or Korea, you don't really see, to be honest. And then, yeah, we've got, what, one... I'm trying to see how many regions we've got. One, two, three... Oh, yeah, Brad... Brad Benavidez gone down. No, he, he was F3, wasn't he? Hugh Bartner and four. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got five. Yeah, got like five or six in F3 as well. So it's quite a lot of turnover in the lower championships. When you have like barely any turnover in the F1 main F1 championship. All right, we've got a spare chassis. Uh, so let's see. Happy to say we resumed. Good. All right. Tech changes. So do you want to get where the front wing aero? Mostly. And under floor. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go for airflow. I feel that's what you would do if you're a smaller team. You go for the airflow changes. All right. Now we can develop our chassis. I'll make spares of them. Oh, can I not rush it? Hang on. Ah, oh, still won't get them in time. No, by a day. You kidding? Whatever. Uh, Stroll is now apparently as good as Ocon. Let's see. Yeah, I know you got low morale. Uh, so, oh yeah, you can research. What have I not done so far? I haven't done suspension so far this year, but I guess suspension isn't too much. So maybe do underfloor. And then we go. Guess optimized arrow. Wow. So that's just what you do, don't you? <laughs> like on this. Airflow sensibility. Oh, okay. Take 31 days. Okay. I'll take that. And then we've got a day left on the side pod, so then we can manufacture those as, let's see. It was even split. What the hell? Oh, tiebreaker voted for four. Okay. Yay, new side pods. All right. Can I rush those out? No. <laughs> God damn it. All right, just do it normally. Oh, that's just research crap. I didn't even realize that. That's okay. It'll help us, I guess, later in the season. Hang on. Okay, that will do. So I'm sort of like developing the OP parts but like a more realistic feel. Yeah, you could just do what they do in real life, which is just, well, what they do in, what you did in like F122 or F1 Manager 22, which is just underfloor. As, let's see. Oh God, Stroll's fighting with his race engineer. All right, we're, we're telling them to bash their heads together. All right. Got a preview, race prep. 
Oh yeah, this is the first sprint weekend, isn't it, as well? Alright, you're both making it to qualifying too, no excuses. I wonder if you will qualify top 10. I mean, Ocon will qualify top 10. You will not do a fastest lap, get out of here. Alright, I'll, I'll remember to save this time as well. I'm a McLaren fan, started watching just as Lando was coming back in in 1819. So many noise, but I like Piastri we'll Joe and Charles since I'm Canadian. Nice. The spectacular Baku City circuit will take drivers right through the city streets. Yeah, enough of that crofty. <laughs> Alright. So we basically got one session to get our setup, annoyingly. So let me just mess with the wings, because we know they're going to be something like that, I guess. And then we could figure you as well. Two, one, should be green. Oh, the pit crew have the... Copy suit. Have the old suits as well. So it's, like, it's only like the, you know, people on the pit board. That's really cool. But yeah, it's going really well for McLaren. Well, could have gone better, but yeah, they're like looking pretty good. You must be happy with Noise and Piastri as well, looking pretty damn even as well. Well, Noise has still got a slight edge, but Piastri's improving all the time. Not sure what to think of Joe and Stroll though. Stroll just seems to be stuck in that second driver role with Alonso, unfortunately. Plus he's been what in F1 what seven seasons now. I feel like we've seen what Stroll can do. And then Joe's tough to judge as well because. How do you judge Sauber? I don't mean like... They're like on the edge of the points at the moment. It's judge hard to judge them in real life. Okay, it's been any major problems. Yeah, the entries are not fantastic. Copy that. I'd maybe like to see Stroll in the... Was it Aston Martin are going to... WEC or WEC? I think so. I would like. I like to see strolled in that. He might be able to do well in that. Uh, so yeah, that will do. Here you go. That would do. Gonna have a hundred percent now. <laughs> nice just needs a damn win. I know. Even Piastri's managed to get a sprint win. What the hell? And of course, Science has won before him as well. Like P five in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Stroll is washed though, yeah. It's so hard to... Kind of like defend him now. Like, as I said, he's like been here seven years, seasons, that's what. Almost 150 races it must be going up to now. Around that. Like, we've kind of seen what he is. Like. I'd love to see what Drogovic can do or just someone... 
you know, someone else can do in that Aston Martin seat alongside Alonso. Mm. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon as long as, you know, Papa strolls there. Until Lance is just like, yeah, I've probably had enough of this Air Force thing. I want to try something else. But I don't think we'll have an anytime soon because he's still, what, 25 or something? He's like pretty damn young still. Okay, Esteban, balance update when you can. Balance update. I'm not talking about the balance. Okay, understand. No, that's not the right answer, Ocon. What the hell? How does it feel? What? No, it's okay. They basically got the hey, same sir. setup. How is it good for Stroll but bad for Ocon? What the hell? Oh, God. Alright, so we need even less wing. Because Stroll's not as good at feedback, I'm guessing. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, maybe do that. Yeah, he's like top five youngest on the grid right now, but he did get poses for him back in the day, so maybe. It yeah, doesn't suit his driving soul. I don't know what's happened with Danny Rick. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the changes for, what's it, 26 could you know, help him out. Well, I'd say maybe just a different series. Like, F1's not the, you know, be end and end all, or be it with an end all. Mm -hmm. driver. There's so oh, many car. series out there. Nice and steady through that, please. Sometimes it's just about you know right? trying to fight the right right one. He's for you. Uh, out of the car, so yes, he's okay. Okay, so that's the checkered flag. Virtual safety car. Keep your delta positive. Yeah. Super Formula Formula E or poor Grosjean go to Indy. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't mind seeing him in Indy car actually. I, I don't know how well we're here do though, but I would just like to see it, see what he can do. Uh, I guess our driver's not happy, yeah. <laughs> so much confidence. There we go, qualifying. And the race weekend continues. Here we are now at qualifying. All right, go on, Stroll. You can get you can get out of Q1. We like you. All right, you go out on the track first. You, you rubber it up for everyone. <laughs> or NASCAR like Kimmy for two second two seasons. Oh yeah, that would be pretty pretty interesting. I'm not sure he would be cut out for NASCAR though, considering how much they like like hitting each other. In that, that be. <laughs> I couldn't imagine him driving elbows out like that, but who knows? Because I was watching, was it the race round Circuit of the Americas the other month? And freaking Kobe actually got like hit around like a bowling ball in the night, from what I saw. Like. Like crazy racing. Yeah, come on, Troy. You can get out of Q1. You can be at least 15th through believing. <laughs> oh, that's only brought in the tyres well. I'm hoping they don't overheat in the third sector like they like do around it. Oh, 
Here it goes. It's under 140, not quite. 143.4. Is that good? I have no idea. <laughs> Well, you settle that. Let's see who else is out there. It's like Mick's just completing the run. Russell's going out. Is uh, he so the Mick? That's not good. Quicker than Gasly, though. Nice. That might be okay. Right, maybe Tom sent off one out. He does dive on me and hit, and hit me. Welcome to NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he probably wouldn't even like Formula E then because they do like hitting each other in Formula E as well, <laughs> like occasionally, like, good. Oh. And I haven't caught the Formula E races from the week, from, what's it, last weekend, though, I need to do that. Alright, there we go, Esteban. Need to do quicker than a, what's it, 43. Basically, forty-three-one. Do that, and you can rest up. I mean, Stroll might be able to rest up anyway. As oh my God, Magnussen in third. What the hell? Who told the horse to be quick? And there's Norris up there, so again, battling the Mercedes. Does some reason we can fight for the top five. In comes McLaren. Suddenly being like fourth quickest team. Uh, so let's see. 40. Oh yeah, maybe yeah, 43 flat maybe. 43. Four. Oh, that's not great. Just crooked and strolled as well. I think I've maybe warmed up the tyres too quickly. Done, and let's see. Got a few drivers still to go. Have you got to go Piastri and Perez? Oh. and stroll out. Right, come on, stroll. <laughs> That's pretty true, Delta. Be like, what? Why is everyone going offline? They're getting their tyres dirty. Uh, Lance are taking the attack mode. <laughs> like. Actually, no, it's pit stop soon, isn't it? We're going to have, like, recharge pit stops or whatever. Lance, everyone's pitting. Pitting for what? I thought, you know, we just went for the whole right the, the recharging. Oh god, I still got the timing glitch. Maybe we've got to get rid of another mod then. <laughs> god damn it. I oh, know, again, it's just qualifying, isn't it? We had that in the last race. Alright, are you at least going green, Lance? No. Oh, we've got to send Esteban out as well. Okay, green middle, green middle.
So sehr jetzt wohl zu sein. It's not an improvement. Oh my god, Stroll. Hang on. Oh, he's actually done a quicker first set to it, though. Alright, go on, Esteban attack. Oh my god, we actually have fuel to do a whole lap. Rolls out again. Let's see if Auckland can improve. All green first split. Oh, go out of the way. Green second split, is it? Okay, uh, that is the checkered flag. Gonna get ahead of the horses. Need to improve by a couple of tenths. Oh, he's done it. Oh, by the skin of his teeth. He makes it through a stroll out. As we've got Verstappen, Leclerc, Alonso, Hamilton, Perez in the top five. Then we've got Sainz, Albon, Russell, Norris, and Gasly. Then it's Piastri, Ricardo, Joe, Raging Bulls doing all right. Manickson and Ocon. He made it through by just 43 thousandths of a second ahead of Schumacher. Holkenberg, Stroll, and the Salvers. All right, come on, Asteban. Well, I'm so laughing at Aston Martin right now. Definitely is. Maybe he just needs to adjust to the car for a bit again. All right. Go early, I guess. And green light. Just get a lap under the belt. Alright, so it seems like bringing in a tight, having a cool tyres at the start of the lap is better. We even suck at fight. You say that, we were pretty good last year at fast speed track, so. And we've got better acceleration this year. And better. What's it? Well, supposedly better low speed grip, but. Yeah, just did rubbish around it. Because everyone's got updates and because we had that fire, we don't. So, before we be better for the next race. Right, come on, knock on. Away, was like a 42 or something. Might be a certain driver who's selling. Don't know what you mean. Alright, 35 9 first split. I feel like I need to be the what? 35 7's probably first split though. At least. Because 35 9 is what Stroll was doing as well in the first split. Right, middle split, 41-1. And on the run to the line, 43-2, okay. It's similar to quality one. Not a massive improvement, is it?
At least we had a Magnuson and Joe at the moment. So 12. So yeah, three tenths we've got to improve. Apparently. Put a Red Bull sack in mid-season if he's still terrible. I mean... As I said, because this is my last season, at, you know, in 23, I might just, yeah, get Alonso or someone. Just be like, yeah, why not? <laughs> you can come to the team, Alonso. But yeah, we'll see. I say he's now an 86. I thought he's going to be better. <laughs> Alright, come on, Esteban. Somehow pull a 42 out of your ass. I know you can do it. Should have a nice clear track as well. Should there be drivers that are just coming out now for their start their final runs? Uh, it's 35 8. Okay. Improved by like a half a tenth in the first bit. See second split forty one flat is green again. I can't remember what he did in the second split though. So we need what twenty five, twenty six second final split. Oh forty three flat. No, he did improve. Oh, but not enough to get a top ten. Hang on, we let him go on another run actually. See if he improves the first split somehow. Nah, a couple of tenths down. Hit that net. Once there's a cheap go day on this game, you can take Williams to season one champions if you develop the car right. But with Alonso, oh my god. God damn it, why don't I just invest in Alonso? So out in eleventh. I mean, it's better than it looked like it was going to be after quality, quality one. But yeah, still not a top ten though. No. Uh, so clear at the top ahead of Albon, the Alonso, the Red Bulls, the Mercedes, Science, Norris, and Gasly. So in the Fanardi, Hamilton got pole. What? Are we sure about this? I don't know what's. <laughs> What has just happened? The guy who, str who struggled to what? Eighth last race? Is on pole ahead of Verstappen. Leclerc, Russell in fourth. Then Perez, Albon, Sainz, Gasly, Alonso and Norris. The guy who won last time is down in ninth. What the hell? <laughs> like... Crazy qualifying three. All right. Practice two. It's pointless, so we'll skip it. Kind of not looking forward to the improved or the up-to-date sprint weekend in the next game because the sprint weekends go so quick in this game. The Hello and welcome as our Grand Prix weekend continues, and the sprint will soon be upon us. As uh, medium, medium, it sounds about right. Give you an extra lap, which will probably last like half the race as well. So, or at least a third the race. All right. So remember, top eight get points. Let's see if we can. Let's see if more crashes happen in front. We can maybe take advantage of it. Our sprint today I mean, well, he's not rushed. He's not. <laughs> of the Baku City Circuit. 
Now's the time for the sprint here in Baku. As here we go then. And it's lights out, and away we go. Ocon dive bomb now. <laughs> Can't do it. Copy. Oh, did the Renault hit the wall in front? Oh, we've got ahead of Norris. Nice. Yeah, Stroll's just sitting back here. Let's see. Who's that? Gaz in Alonso battling free. I think most teams have upgrades before it's across. It's like Alpine and McLaren have got upgrades as well. It's like both our drivers are just staring at the back of Alpines at the moment, Alpine Renaults. Go on, Ocon, dive it. I wish that corner was like wider so you could actually overtake there. That'd be pretty good. Instead of having the curb just stick out in the middle of nowhere like it is at the, like it is at the moment. You guys got to save your ERS a bit. DRS enabled. So currently it's time we are P10. So we've now got Gasly in front. He came out behind us. Not McLaren who got upgrades. No, it must, it must just be Mercedes who upgrades. It's looking at the audio of things, everything's pretty similar, isn't it? I'm gonna show you. Uh, so it's like Sainz and Alonso still battling. This time just for seventh as Alonso bike. And we've literally got a train from Hamilton down. With Verstappen, Leclerc, Russell, Perez, Albon, Alonso, Sainz so at the top eight in the line. And they've got Gasly holding on ahead of ourselves, Norris, Piastri, Magnussen, Jewel, Schumacher, Ricardo, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, and Bottas. I would say it's weird seeing Stroll not five seconds behind the rest of the field though, which is pretty good. Actually, I might as well just say maximum attack, shouldn't I? I don't know. Uh, step on the fastest lap. And he's by. <laughs> right, this happens one. <laughs> Back it up. The Curly Race prediction, huge red flag comes out from a huge pile with all Red Bulls, Ferrari. Lance comes up through the way at light, light McKean, and wins by a mile. Oh my god. I mean, it can still happen. Oh my god, we've been dropped by Norris like we're not even here. I mean, we're saving the tyres a bit for later in the race, so hopefully they'll come back to us. Yep. Man, he gets so emotional on the radio, doesn't he? All right. Uh, let's see, here comes Piastri. Let's watch Ocon, shall we? Okay, so we've got the Astrid in front. Oh, man. Let's just check tyres. 
Oh my god, everyone's on softs apart from us. Okay, no wonder we're dropping like a stone then. Oh yeah, we've got to manage our tyres then. That's the only way for us to get back into this race, basically. By manage our tyres, I mean push them like a hell, because apparently tyre wear's not that, <laughs> not that bad rounder. Uh, it's, oh my god, we've been passed by Joe now. Good. Uh, Stroll's getting attached by Sonoda as well. There's a massive gap to the top eight, so we're not scoring points anyway from this race. It looks like. I'm going to guess at least we still have tyres for the actual race. <laughs> like That's a Claire's lead as well, I've just noticed that ahead of Verstappen. And you've got Hamilton leading Perez and his teammate. Alonso and Sip, he hasn't really pushed on. I thought he'd be pushing on, but it's like he's just holding off Elborn and Sainz at the moment. And you've got Norris leading Gasly, Piastri, Joe. And ourselves a bit further back as we've got Magnussen over Hotel. Not making a move. We've got Ricardo battling with Mick. And we've got Holkenberg, ourselves. Well, Stroll. Head of the Salva, just about. And then Bottas in last. And the only thing is we can hope the tyres go off, but yeah, they are not going off, are they? <laughs> like. And look, we're pushing our tyres hard as well, but... I mean, we are kind of closing back up now. Maybe it's coming back to us a bit. As we're almost in DRS range of Joe now. Alright, it's just like Gazi and Piashi battling for the top ten. Unfortunately for Piastri, that doesn't mean he's batting for a point. Uh, Science getting past Albon now as well. Or not. Or is. Uh, so Alonso over the back of Russell now as well. As Perez has got past Hamilton. Leclerc and Verstappen still knows the tail. Uh, it's looking further back. It's like Magnussen's over our tail still. Maybe deploy a bit with Ocon, maybe we're getting DRS. Maybe I deployed it too late. It's a grab. No, at least you should hold off Magnus and it's like this happens taking the lead. Not quite. Looks like the Claire got the DRS as well. And there's Pyrrhus and Hamilton. Hamilton fighting back. The inside. And it's like Pyrrhus is holding on. And we've got Alonso alongside Russell. Both Mercedes under attack. Hamilton really holding on. Probably to his detriment now because he's going to get DRS'd, but. He's having a good fight. And then we've got Alonso. And Albon, so the Aston Martin's on the attack. Looks like Ocon is still stuck just outside DRS, which is frustrating. Uh, so he's got DRS in, it's like Albon. Uh, so Alonso's got it on Russell. Uh, so Hamilton is still ahead of Perez, by the way. And 
Looks like Ross is going to hold on ahead of Alonso. Maybe not. Yeah. But it looks like Albon did make the move on Sainz. Uh, it looks like Magnussen's fine made the move on us as well. Stroll is still a driver in this thing as well. <laughs> Maybe we can DRS by and we can DRS closer to the cars in front. Is yeah, it going like two or three wide in front? What the hell's going on? Yeah, that's nice, Ocon. Nice. Yeah, it's just like Hamilton and Perez are still side by side. Still side by side. Still side by side. And while Alonso is still sat behind Russell. Looks like the clear is preparing for a move as well on Verstappen for the lead. Oh my god, guys, can you like separate yourselves? It's gonna hold that. Looks like Claire did not make the move. Looks like Perez did, but it's gonna give Diaz back to Hamilton. And Hamilton holds on to third. <laughs> Uh, well, Alonso gets into the top five. Science battling back against Albon as well. Well, Piastri is still thinking he's fighting for a point, maybe. Fighting hard with Gasly. It's like Gasly's got back ahead. Looks like Albon's got back ahead of, of Science. It's like Alonso's got ahead of Russell. And Perez actually dropping back from Hamilton. You know, Sappen and Leclerc with five laps to go. Won't be exchanging places for the lead. Or not. That Red Bull is very wide. Okay, got a bit of DRS. Not sending it. Yeah, Perez has just dropped back from Hamilton. So like Russell's still going to the back of Alonso, just like Science and Albon are glued together. Looks like Piastri dropping like a stone. As now it's Albon's and Sites turn to be side by side for a whole lap. Yeah, Piastri stopped behind Joe. He was battling Gasly. Now Gasly's all over the back of Norris. Our guys are just pound round on their medium, so it seemed to finally be coming in ahead of the softs with just four laps remaining. And the Sapin's still holding on from the Claire. There will be a pass for the lead, okay? <laughs> It'll probably just be on the final lap. Uh, it's just like Alonso's up passed on Perez now, he's up to fourth. Suddenly you can see a podium in front from like nowhere. There's uh, Albon and Science. Have they finally settled the dispute? Yeah, and it's like Science is ahead. There's Gazzy over the back of Norris. Pashi and Joe trying to battle. Ocon now out of DRS on Magnus and closing up to this battle for 10th. Uh, so Sapin's now over a second ahead of Leclerc. What the hell? What's happened to this battle? It's like Sapin's just turned it up. Oh, what about Alonso, though? Behind Hamilton. With three laps to go. And we use a bit of ERS from Ocon so he can get into this battle with Piastri and Joe. For 11th. Alonso so just not quite in DRS. So that means Perez can fight back. And Red Bull back up into fourth. Nope, they're going to be side by side for the whole lap. Okay. And yeah, and this like that has worked for Ocon's now finally in DRS. Oh, same for Stroll actually. He's in DRS for Hulkenberg, Mick and Ricardo. We're about to see a masterclass from Stroll then. He's about to get three places and one lap. Could still win it. <laughs> no. uh, so there goes Hulkenberg. 
Right, next up, Mick. There you go. There's place two. Oh, damn it. Ricardo's, like, way too far ahead. Who, who let him get away? Come on. <laughs> right, we'll push a bit with Ocon now as well. Alright, are these strolls moving forward? Here's the battle for the 11th. Uh, so Claire's got ahead of a sapping. What the hell? Where's that come from? DRS disabled, DRS disabled. Yeah, yeah. Copy that. Yeah, we, we got that yep. message from the other guy. Has it gone to the final lap then? Battle between the Claire and... Oh, what's that happened? For the win. Looks like it's Hamilton v Perez for third as well. Uh, so Sapin just got the insider. What are you doing, Leclerc? Just checking a knock on. So we go up to 12. Oh, can he make it two places? Go on. Looks like he can. Up to 11th. What about Stroll? Are you actually closing up to this bout for 14th? You are. Uh, it's Verstappen and Leclerc. And it's like Verstappen's pipped ahead of the Ferrari. But we do have that run to the line. Well, it's not long enough for Ferrari for the Ferrari. So it's a Red Bull 1 3 as Stappen Perez beats Hamilton. Alonso, Russell, Albon, and Sainz. Are your point scores. Uh, so it's like our guys will finish 11th and 16th. Or 12th and 16th, okay, as they run out of fuel. <laughs> or 12th and 17th. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> No points to speak of for Esteban Ocon in today's sprint. Uh, that was pretty thrilling in the end, actually. Finished in exactly 30 minutes as well. What the hell? Talk about precision. Uh, so it's like Magson's got a good penalty. Oh, yeah, he had that clash last race, didn't he? So Ocon down a place. Stroll up a place. Joe with a good race up three places. Same for Alonso up four. Hamilton down three from pole. What probably expected for the Mercedes. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. Ooh. All right, let's see what we're going to do. It's going to be a one stopper, isn't it? So yeah, maybe soft hards. I guess for both, we'll put them on at the moment. But we might change that. Especially it's only 51 laps as well. It's a pretty short race that, boys. Alright, here we go. Let's see if the prediction of everyone crashing out in front of Shaw will happen. Oh, <laughs> Final checks have been carried out on the grid and it won't be long until we get underway. Here we go with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Draw knock on, maximum attack. Head down, we'll leave you to it. Same for Stroll. Yep. Come on. Confirm. As in it's like, oh, clash in front. Who was that? So that was, was it Joe and Gasly? Gasly again? Damn. Right, you need to get past Ocon. Ocon, you need to get past. As is Red Bull 1-2. Oh, red flag. Red flag. Red flag. 
She only got a pen. Who is it? Oh, it's Outerborn. Oh, my God. Oh, that's not good for the Aston. All right, it technically doesn't count as a lap. Unfortunately for us to be on those tires. All right, let's put Stroll on hards, I guess, then. Why not? And you can... Yeah, you can stay on softs, Ocon. Why not? We're set once more. And soon we'll continue this race. And it's lights out. And away we go. So we go take two then. So I'll come around the outside of Piastri. Street. Stroll, Stroll, calm down, mate. It's one, one place. <laughs> Let's see what Stroll can do. He's probably the only guy on hards, isn't he? Yeah. Actually, quite a lot of drivers on mediums. Actually, no. It's Hul Hulkenberg, Ricardo. Joe, Norris, Gasly, Alonso, Hamilton, Leclerc, Perez. So it's like nine drivers on mediums and ten on softs. It's like how she's held on. No, it's tricky, doing a good job. Let's keep it up. Yeah, we'll see who's stroking last day at the end of the race on the, on the hards. <laughs> Oh my god, Ocon getting bullied there in the first part by Piastri and Avocado. There's Joe with that penalty, I'm guessing. In 10th place, there's a Red Bull 1 2, then then Leclerc, the Mercedes of Hamilton and Russell, Alonso, the sole Aston in 6. You've got Science, Norris, Gasly, Joe. Got a raging ball point? What the hell? You've got Piastri, ourselves, Ricardo, Mick, Magnussen, Stroll, Hulkenberg, and the Salvers. It's like Ocon's getting on with it. Remember, that's a point in front we're, we're seeing. As Mitz got past Ricardo, and it's like, unfortunately, the other Rage Bulls lost out to Piastri. Why is that peak? Oh, it's high. It's about to say. Oh, constant's high as well. How have they suddenly gained a second and a half on the lap? What the hell? Let's see. They've gained two seconds on that lap. What the hell? Makes no sense. Anyway. That's great overtake knock on. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I have to do the what's it, driving clean air thing so they can actually do overtakes. We sit and wait for a bit. So Stroll's... Oh, he's just outside the RS range. I was about to say... Hovering behind Olkenberg, but he isn't. Often said that you're hovering behind Mick. 
Uh, so yeah, no, so I need to back down to my lap times. What the hell? Uh, so there we go, Ocon. Good move. Now can he actually pull away? Uh, it's looking further ahead. It looks like because it's a heck of a battle between Leclerc and the Mercedes. You see it. Red Bulls following each other. Yeah, Leclerc ahead of Hamilton and Russell. Then we've got the Spaniards battling again. Seems like Alonso and Science want the battle in every race. And Gasly holding off the McLarens. As there's Joe in 11th. There's Ocon ahead of Mick. And Magnussen. Ricardo. Alkenberg. So now he's got ahead of Stroll. We're potassing last. I thought that's been our saying tonight. As uh, it's like Hamilton's got past Leclerc. Looks like Red Bull's just lined the stern in the lead. Let's just go back to Ocon Cam. See, so yeah, it kind of all gets a bit spread out in the middle here, like up to, you no know, gaps up to half a second. Then we've got that, this too long DRS zones at the end of the lap and at the beginning of the lap. Yeah, Stroll falling into the clutches of Bottas. What the hell? I know he's on hards, but still. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> All right, Stroll, have a good race. In last. Again. It's like Australia all over again. <laughs> we've got Ocon actually trying to battle for points, and then we've got like Stroll like just chilling out at the back. Uh, so it's like the Red Bulls are going to war. Uh, so they're going to be getting for a whole of that. So Hamilton ahead of Leclerc. Then we've got Russell. It's like Sainz and Sainz getting closer to Alonso. Nice ahead of Gasly. Yeah, Piastri in tow. They stay with, stick with Piastri cam here as they're battling for the low end of the points. Remember, McLaren got 20 points, I think. So my head, Alpine and ourselves tied with three. So <laughs> even though we might be close pace-wise, we kind of definitely got the up hand and the points. And close to Mercedes, we've got 24 points in total. At least heading into Baku. And it's just up in the head of Perez. And looks like Gasly's back ahead of Norris. Or is he? Can't, die, can't quite decide at the moment, it looks like. Uh, Stroll enjoying life in last at the moment. <laughs> Going back to the old Williams days, you know, back like 2018. Apart from Italy. Yeah, so here you go, Piaschi to the inside. Looks like the clowns are getting past the runner Alpine into the points. Into ninth for Piastri, is it? No, Gazzy's got DRS. <laughs> uh, as Perez back ahead of Verstappen. Looks like Hamilton doing a good job with Leclerc as Russell's dropped back into the clutches of Alonso. Have we seen another false stall from the Aston, maybe? It's on the sprint, let's see. As you can see, a bit of Hamilton v Leclerc in front as well. Ocon's still doing a good job in 12. Again, tire wear. Right, we can last, what, up to that 20, I think, on these softs. So, yeah, definitely a one-stop soft-medium, it seems like, for Ocon. Uh, so long as they're just sticking behind the Mercedes. And it's like Hamilton and Leclerc side-by-side, side, though. As uh, Russell defends the inside, but that has got nothing. It's the strength of DRS. So, Alonso up into the top five again. Do we push on in this race? Uh, 
Uh, seems like the two Sauber's battling hard. Ricardo and Holkenberg as well. A side by side, literally for the whole lap. Looks like some other holding off teammate Bottas. And there's now Joe's all over the back of Piastri out of nowhere. Looks like the Raging Bull wants their point back. And he's got it back. No, it's not the pit window yet, mate. Jeez. Calm down. Uh, so there goes Piastri back by the Raging Bull. And it's like Ocon just holding off. Mick as well for 12th. Uh, so Hulkenberg and Ricardo still settling their differences. But it's like Hulkenberg's got ahead now. Uh, so it's like the two Haas preparing to go to war as well over 14th. Let's see Alonso v Hamilton for 4th now. Uh, Aston Martin definitely is pushing on this race. You can see Leclerc's dropped Hamilton out of DRS as well. And there goes Alonso up into fourth then. But most importantly, just out of DRS on Leclerc. So Hamilton with a great chance to fight back. Not close enough. And it's like they've all caught up to the red balls as well. They've dropped into the clutches here. Uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. Verstappen's on the softs. Okay, I thought the Red Bulls would be medium, you know, medium, medium or soft, soft, but they're on different strategies. Hmm. Uh, is Ocon trying to hold off for Mick? Unless they're going side by side for a whole lap. Is it just holding on. Welcome to 2006, by the way. <laughs> right. And see how the Haas is ahead of the Raging Bull. It's like Stroll starting to get some speed. And it's Alonso, the fastest out. 46-9, battling for a podium now. Meanwhile, Leclerc, I didn't see, he's almost within DRS of the Red Bulls as they're still battling hard. Maybe Alonso and Leclerc weren't battling hard, they would be within DRS range. And so they are dropping, Alon dropping Hamilton as well. Definitely dropped Russell, who's holding off Science at the moment. Science having a bit of a disappointing race. Uh, since like Schumacher's got a head of Ocon. Right, let's have a look now. Around turn three. And he's just DRS down the inside. Uh, so yeah, now the Kerr's got the DRS. Now he can hold off Alonso quite comfortably. Literally the top five all have DRS on each other, you know, apart from the leader. Uh, this is Science finally making the move on Russell. Into the inside. No, it's not. He made the move. Norris all over the back of Gasly again. That's Piastri. He's dropped six and a half seconds back from that battle. Uh, so Ocon stuck behind Mick, and now he's got the horses for company and Ricardo. Stroll just, still just like around two seconds behind Bottas. What is his pace? 55, 52. He's similar to Ocon, actually. I mean, Ocon's got another, what, three laps at least, I think, on these tyres? Three or four laps. Looks like Norris has got ahead of Gasly. So run at Alpine down to down to ninth. Yeah, these are kind of soft runners hanging out with each other as well. Uh, so say science is stuck behind Russell, it's still just an eight second gap between first and seventh. So these top seven are still pretty damn close. Let's see if Science can finally make the move. Uh, Stroll is actually catching up to Bottas now. There's hard tyres coming in after like 15 laps. We'd love to see it. <laughs> I 
Yes, now Mercedes just using that ERS, it seems like. Okay, Nick Gapers, the Claire's pretending to be the third Red Bull now in, in that Ferrari. And here comes Alonso as well to join the party. As the Mercedes have actually been dropped now, Hamilton's two and a half seconds behind this top four. Leclerc even taking a little cheeky look there in this final sector as Hulkenberg is oh, he's overtaken off as well. So we're heading now into turn five. The opportunity begging to be taken. And this goes around the outside, got it. Oh, so it's for stepping on the softs as well. Uh, it's often got a lot of tyre wear <laughs> as well on those softs. Uh, so he's probably got another, what, two laps at least on them as well. As I said, Stroll's catch up to Bottas. He's now 3.3 back now. That gap's doubled in the last couple of laps. Uh, Science is still stuck behind Russell. He's defending Finn Air. There's Gassi out of DRS on Norris. Looks like Joe's got past Piaschi into the top 10. So could be seeing Raging Points. Raging Bulls first point of the season. Uh, it's the other Raging Bulls over the back of Ocon as well. And by into 14th. Just got not got the pace rounder. That's all. Could Alonso lose the RS there? This might be important. And it's like strong in the last last sector. How about for Piastri? Is he strong as well? Can he get up back into the points? Uh, so we go. We've got the DRS now. He's gonna send it. Not quite. Not quite. As uh, here comes Mick V. Holkenberg for 12th. It's like the winner Alpine's holding on. And it's like the Raging Bull held on as well. As yeah, Alonso's drifted out of that second window. Uh, so Red Bulls have had a brick wall in front of Leclerc, it looks like. So yeah, let's get Ocon onto the mediums, I guess. Uh, as you can see, they've literally built a side-by-side -side wall <laughs> in front of Leclerc. Because he's got no room to make the overtake. Uh, Science has dropped back from Russell. Uh, so here comes Ocon, first pitter. Nice, 2.4. Oh, there we go, You're giving him a bit of clean air as well. So I'm hoping this kind of works out. I know it probably won't work out in the last 10 laps, but at least in these first 10 laps, we might make, be able to make up a place or two. Probably even clearer. Still Perez and, uh, and Verstappen still knows the tail's approach halfway through this race. There's Alonso within. DRS on the Claire who's drifted back from the Red Bulls. Looks like Hamilton coming along for the party as well. He's closing up. Looks like Science has finally got bars, Russell. So side by side. Mercedes really holding on. 
really holding on. Like, really, really wants that sixth place. It looks like it's just going to give Science DRS, unfortunately, and that might be it. Oh, Science Pits. Science Pits. Find our lead, is he? They're going on to mediums as well. Interesting. Didn't think anybody would actually be following us. Same for Piastri as well. He's going to pop on those mediums too. Okay. Remember, this is someone that Ockham might be battling as well. What's the gap? Uh, so it looks like Stroll's going to cause Piat Piastri some border. Six seconds to Piastri. Oh, safety car. Oh, Ocon. What the f*** was that, honestly? Oh. Now we're watching Esteban Ocon here. And makes contact with the wall. And that's a tough one to take for both driver and the car. Ock on you absolute dick pleb. What the Safety hell? Safety car. Stay positive. Okay. Do everything you can to maintain temperature. That's it, everyone is going to pit now. Apart from Piastri, oh yeah, he's just pitted, hasn't he? As Joe comes out ahead. This works out nicely for him. As what the hell is going on with Sign? What 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 are you doing? What the Red flag Lance? What? Why red flag it? Oh my god. Alright. Don't know what you do if you stroll. I might just risk it for the biscuit. Put on the softs. I mean, we've done the total opposite strategy of being way too conserved. Now we're going to be like way too aggressive with Stroll. Why not? All drivers have taken their positions again. Once more, they're ready to race. It's lights out, and away we go. Go get it. Go on, Stroll. We've got all your hopes on us. <laughs> on you. Come on. Alright, he's got Edda Botta. That's good. That's a, that's a decent start. Alright. He's just still in the race on like that one. Alright, can we get past the other Sauber? No, and in fact you're giving back the place to Bottas, that's not ideal. We're just too slow. No, it's you're too slow, slow Lance. There we go. Actually, let's see the split in the field. Paris on hard? Leading the way. Then we've got mediums for Verstappen, Russell, Science, Norris, Gasly, Piastri, and Mick. So that's what. That's what. Seven drivers on mediums, one on hards, and then ten on softs. Including Stroll, who sends it. 
Up into 16th. Oh my god. The wing could happen. <laughs> right. right, nice. We're ahead of the Salvers at least. Alright, let's see if we can get ahead of... Oh! Magnuson! <laughs> ahead of their Haas next. As Perez leading ahead of Leclerc. How has he got those tyres heated up? Do you put them in the oven? In the grid or something. As the clear of the fast lap, 46-6. And as we're going to take the lead. Soft tyres v hard tyres. Why well, do I get the sinking feeling that something's going to come into this like in the last 10 laps and win it all? It's just set up for that, isn't it? Uh, so Alonso's actually ahead of Verstappen. So Alonso on softs as well. And they've got the two Mercedes battling hard. Uh, so you've got Hamilton on softs, Russell on mediums. I'm sure you want to swap them round, Mercedes. Just wasting both their tyres at the moment. And you've got Sainz on mediums, Norris on mediums, Gasly on mediums. Joe on softs, is that you? And Pashi on mediums. Uh, as Perez holding on very well to the back of the clear. I thought the throw would be running away, but maybe they're just conserving the tyres a bit now during the lead. As yes, Russell's won that bat up Mercedes, how was that actually out of DRS on Russell? Yes, he's got 20 laps to go. Yes, looks like Sainz now making a move on Hamilton. What is going on with the softs? Not working. Seems like it's hard or mediums are the tyres to be on. Yeah, Stroll's dropped back from Mick and is now back in the clutches of the Salvers. I guess they're all kind of like saving as well on the softs. Much more compared to, you know, hards are just flat out. Mediums will be probably flat out as well. So that might be what we're seeing here is just the soft runners just having to conserve so much. Right, it's off the care and Alonso and Hamilton. That's why they're just slipping back in the clutches of these runners on the harder tyres. They're at the peak now. And there we go. Perry is fighting for the lead with Leclerc. In fact, for Sam got ahead of Alonso. Looks like, looks like Russell lining up for a move along with Sainz. As Gadsy ahead of Norris, so there might be four crucial points for the Alpine Renault team. As we're out of DRS on Bottas, who's now ahead of Sonoda. Looks like closing back up to Magnussen. Uh, season softs as well. Mediums for Mick. Softs for both pass cars, actually. Bit risky when you've got both cars on the same track. You're saying for the Raging Bulls as they're in 10th and 11th. Really looking to lock down a point for the first time this season. And Mia yeah, Perry is ahead of Leclerc. Got the inside line. The Ferrari tries to fight back. Alonso over the back of Verstappen. Right, and it's like Perez is conceded position at the moment, but now down the front stretch. This could be it for the lead. And it's like the clear. Hold him off.
Nah, it's got the DRS on the neck straight. Gets by. Stepping by Alonso as well. Wants to over the back of Russell. So from Norris over the back of Gasly. That's Pashi back up to 11th ahead of Ricardo. Just on a bit of no man's land. Unfortunately, down in 16th. Not, not really quick enough to close up to Magnussen, but quicker than Bottas behind. Uh, so Cleo and Perez still trying to decide the differences. So we've gone to that 35, just two thirds of the way through the race. Final third of the race, a sprint to the finish. An interesting array of strategies as well in the top 10. Right, the whole of the field, really. As Perez again with the DRS round the outside of the Claire. Can he get a nose ahead this time? No. Yes. Yeah, he can. Get the whole damn car in front there. As Alonso trying to go side by side with Verstappen. And Sainz so still is up behind Russell. Nice well, back ahead of Gasly in the battle for eight. Piastri stuck behind the Rick stuck behind Ricardo again in the battle for the eleventh. Looks like Magnussen with the pack of Mick as well. So now Alpine's trying to get into the DRS range on Magnussen's teammate Olgenberg, who's just out of the DRS range on Piastri. As Perez with the lead again. Here comes Leclerc to the inside. Or not. Nah, just sit behind. Going to sit behind it, it looks like, for the next lap. Has Verstappen and Alonso back in half a third. What about Sainz? Are you doing anything? No, you're not doing anything. Let's hope Hamilton's coming back into that battle now as well. So the sauce having a bit of a resurgence now. There's noise come through behind Gazzy, same for Ricardo behind Piastri. Piastri back ahead of his fellow countrymen. Uh, we've got Mick in 40 now over the back of Hulkenberg. There's uh, Magnussen and Stroll starting to close up on that gap now. Come on, Stroll. Uh, he's got 15 to go. Oh, that's a bit of a dive, Mick. It's not going to work out on the Haas, or is it? Nah, too far back. Uh, so here comes Verstappen on Alonso again for the battle for third. Looks like at least for the battle for the lead for the time being, there's a bit of a breather going on. Uh, so now we've got Russ on Sainz joining his battle for third as well. And again, Hamilton's just giving watching brief in seventh. Uh, there's Norton Gasly keeping the gap. Same for Pashu Ricardo. Like Holkenberg and Mick as well. And it's like Stroll finally in DR's range of Magnussen. About to see the send of the century. Not quite. Not quite. Well, he does get another dog of DRS now. Let's start that Haas again, suffering a bit with maybe a bit of tyre wear. Not really, we've got worse tyres than Magnussen, just suffering a bit of a drop in performance. Right, we'll deploy our EOS in this final sector. Right, let's we'll see if Stroll can make the move. Uh, let's Magnussen defends. But not enough against the Williams up into 15th. Oh my god. <laughs> right, we'll see if Stroll can close the gap to Olgenberg in front then. Just under three seconds is the gap. Uh, so Claire now pulled away from Perez. He's pulled the pin. Three seconds ahead of the Red Bull. Alonso in tow now. 
in the battle for second, along with Verstappen, Russell, Hamilton, quite a signs actually. And as you can see, they're swapping places in front. It's like Aston getting ahead of the Red Bull. That hard tire strategy just not working out for a bit. I don't know why they sometimes just use that hard tire strategy with Perez. It never seems to work out. And it's going to see Norris getting very close again. It's like Pash ahead of Joe. Back to that final points paying place for the Australian. And it's why Aussie Ricardo stuck behind Mick. As Magnussen re overtakes Stroll. And if we watch Magnussen. Into turn three, got it. Uh, Stroll gets back ahead, or does he? Going side by side everywhere, Jesus. Can you two make up your mind if, who's ahead? <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, so you've got ten to go. Goes Magnussen ahead as Alonso does grab second head of Perez. And now it's like Verstappen struggling to hold on from Russell. So the gap might be even closer between Verstappen and Alonso at the end of this. And Sainz in seventh. Looks like Norris has finally broken the Renner Alpine. Looks like Pashi as well pulling away from the Raging Bulls in 11th and 12th. He's been spreading out outside the top ten. Now he's got ten to go. Looks like Alonso and Perez still battling hard for this fight for his second place on the podium. And just sitting behind, interesting from Perez. As uh, it's like Russell getting ahead of Verstappen. Well, Mercedes might get a podium from this weekend of that surprise Hamilton pole. And qualifying. And here comes Hamilton and Sainz. Joining on the fun as well. As Joe's got ahead of Piastri. Great battle between the lung guns there. Couple of seasons back fighting for Titan F2, weren't they? Well, not really. Uh, Joe won races, but never really involved in the title fight, I guess. But. We've got the upper hand on this, this F2, ch F2 champ from back then. Has now the horses going to war. That will always be entertaining. So let's keep on board. So Lonson and Perez keeping very close together. They're going to be driving side by side for the whole lap. How about the horses as well? And this man's got a nose ahead of Hulkenberg. These two still side by side. As you can see, Leclerc with a comfortable four second lead at the moment. So let's watch from Russell's, Russell's angle. He's got a bit of a gap behind to Verstappen. So that DLS won't be really, really affecting him. I definitely respecting Alonso. Mirror is full of Red Bull. And all squeezing, closing that inside line. Like it's life or death there. As uh, we've got Verstappen down to fifth. So remember, Alonso second, Verstappen fifth. That's at least, what, eight points being closed up there? It's going to be very close between the two after this. The championship has. Yeah, gaps all over a second apart from between, you know, Magnussen and Hulkenberg. That there. Maybe I shouldn't be aggressive with Stroll.
Uh, so this like pair is quite ahead of Alonso. Nah, still side by side everywhere. Okay. Because why not? <laughs> Claire's lead over four and a half seconds for the first time. Uh, so yeah, Hamilton can't quite get involved in this battle in the sit. Just out of DRS. As we're approaching five laps to go. Well, it's going to be a fight finish for second, isn't it? Uh, so let's see if Perez can hold on. He should have much better tyres, actually, Perez, than the rest. Those tyres, even 60% worn. It'd be much more comfortable boots to be on rather than the medium and soft, I'd imagine. He's showing it back up to second. Or not, Alonso's holding on. Well, Alonso's countryman, Science, still... Not doing anything on Hamilton, has uses this Ricardo batting hard with Mick, over 12. As it looks like Ricardo is still going to lose out, yeah. But then going to get the DRS though for the... For the front stretchers. Joe's got an almost over two and a half second lead on Piastri, he's going to get that final point, isn't he? For Raging Ball. This is the main battle. Then battle for seconds. Obviously you can get the popcorn view with the snap in as we've got five laps to go. Nothing for us to manage. Unfortunately with Stroll we're just sitting here in, in 16th. Not much to do unfortunately for us. As Noz got back ahead of Gadsley as well in the battle for ninth. Eighth and ninth that is. So it's over a second behind Hamilton. So Hamilton's actually involved in this battle now. Or fourth in this. Like, because Verstappen's dropped DRS. Alonso and Perez. As they go side by side once again. It's a freaking oval race between these two. With four laps to go. And here's Russell. Trying to make the move four fourth. Get back ahead of Verstappen. Here comes Hamilton as well. Try and join in or back up his teammate. Yeah, Sainz has just dropped off. So is Gasly as well. Right, let's see what Perez can do. Three laps to go, coming up. Leclerc's lead over six seconds now, and it's like the Ferrari searching for his first victory of the season. It's all about who's going to fill the podium places, in which order. Uh, it's looks like Alonso holding on at the moment. There is side by side, though. As Russell's got ahead of Verstappen as well, 4-4. Four, four. Alonso quite ahead of Perez, four seconds. And there is the Red Bull, stuck in a Mercedes sandwich now. And there's Gazi back ahead of Norris as well, they're having an imitating battle for eighth. And Piastri as well, the McCarran to come back on the Raging Bull in tenth. Grabbing that final point away. Although it's going to be a hard break for, for Ball Joe. Doing a magnificent couple of races. Uh, so we're about to enter the penultimate lap. Once again, Alonso and Perez. Going down the front stretch in a line. Staying in a line. What about Verstappen? Trying to grab some fight or championship points back from Russell, but not happening. And like I said, Russell's teammate is ready to pounce. So here comes Gazzy back on Norris. The battle for eighth. That noise is going to outdrag him, though. Here comes Joe all over the back of the other McLaren. Oh, Zach Brown must be having a heart attack. As uh, you've got Ricardo paddling. Nick shoot marker for 12. With Magnussen in tow as well. As it is final that time. 
Okay, droid in a very very comfortable victory in this side. It looks like Lonza's actually pulled out on Perez. Now Russell. Trying to get a podium for Mercedes. Uh, so Stafford trying to hold off Hamilton here on the final lap. Uh, so there we go. Mercedes past one Red Bull. Mercedes past two Red Bulls. This line looks like it's got the inside line on for Stafford. For Stafford trying to hold on though. In the middle sector as Russell's grabbed third from Perez. But remember we've got that long DRS straight at the end of the lap. As Verstappen held it on for Hamilton, still side by side. Okay. As we've got Norris and Gasly still battling over eight. Still a battle over the final point as well. Let's go through the castle section. Hey Amar, how are you doing? I've just been commentated to myself. Did you notice you were there, so. As. Yeah, Alonso's got second. Russell looks like he's got third. He's pulled a bit of a gap on Perez here. The full for Stappen is going to be fifth or sixth. Oh, Alonso won the title. Nice. Or did he win in Abu Dhabi as well then? Oh, Max won Abu Dhabi. Oh, the Ferraris are too quick. As in it's like for something to gonna grab vital couple of championship points here, finishing in fifth ahead of a sixth. And then science this point racing seventh. Gasly. Knows like he's got to hold on from Norris for break as well. And in this like Crash is gonna win the battle of the young guns for tenth. Ricardo, Magnussen, Alkenberg, Stroll, disappointment in 16th. What a nightmare weekend for Williams. This will be checkered flag. We'll turn back, we never happen, shall we? <laughs> Tonight. Now Esteban Ocon won't be in a hurry. As Ocon binned it, and Stroll could not get through despite being on those softs. Final sent up to 60 and for the Claire wins ahead of Alonso Russell. The great podium for Mercedes ahead of the Red Bulls. Not on the podium for once, for like the first time ever. In this career in fourth and fifth. Then we've got Hamilton, Sainz, Gasly, Norris, and Piastri rounds out the points. His first point in F1 in, in this career. As uh, Joe, great race, but unfortunately just missed out on the 11th. Then Schumacher, Ricardo, Magson, Holkenberg, Stroll. Started 16th, ended 16th, had the most pit stops though, at least you won that. <laughs> and then here we got the Salvers. So in the drivers, Verstappen leads by just 8 points ahead of Alonso. He's just a point ahead of Leclerc, very close at the top. Then we've got Perez, Russell in the top 5 now with his first podium of the season. Head of Sainz, Albon down to 7th, after being in it very early on. And then Hamilton up to 8th ahead of Norris. And then Gazi up to 10th. There's Ocon in 11th, Stroll in 12th. And there's Piastri adding his first point on the board along with the Sauber. So in the constructors, it's Red Bull 42 points ahead of Ferrari. And they're just two points ahead of Aston Martin. And then big gap to Mercedes, who outscored Aston actually. And then McLaren. Inching away from Alpine, who re grabs sit for head of ourselves, and then we've got Sauber, Raging Bull, and Haas. Uh, so, you've got second, I guess, in the bit stop challenge behind McLaren, and eighth for Stroll. So, we're up to third in that, ahead of Aston Martin and Ferrari. Has McLaren got a 47 point lead on Red Bull, who have a 37 point lead on ourselves? And then we've got Alpine, Mercedes, and Sauber scoring points, Haas. Pointless in both competitions. Well on Gene. So yeah, we just in our pace. <laughs> Not good at all. Uh, let me catch on while you're saying I'm all. all right. 
So, Alonso won the championship. But season two, Red Bull's ahead of everyone. Me and Ferrari are close. Merkel on their own in fourth. Alpine is the, the, the midfield black markers. Bit similar to mine then, isn't it? It's like... Because <laughs> Red, Red Bull, you know, even they finished fourth and fifth here in Baku, like, they are still a bit better than everyone else. And then, yeah, it's like Ferrari, Aston, even Merck here in Baku. Batted in for that places. And then, yeah, we've got Alpine. Actually, no, it's McLaren, isn't it? And then Alpine and ourselves battling in behind. So, yeah, and Ferrari 1-2. Alonso 3rd, Max 4th. Alonso wins the championship in 2023 in my career mode. Season 2. The third fastest. Very close to Ferrari. Alonso managed two wins. Nice. Mammy, I told Lance to not risk an overtake on Alonso. Fiber not risk anything. And then Lance locked up and went into Alonso. <laughs> How strong, unfortunately. They're 10 seconds ahead of Max. In the end, no one to. But we've got a 1-3. Oh, okay, at least you finished then. I thought I was going to take Alonso out then. Thankfully, Paris was 30 seconds behind. But yeah, it was going to be a 1-2. But Lance fucked it. <laughs> God damn it, Stroll. Don't look at me like that, Stroll. You know what you did. <laughs> like, oh. Uh, let's see. So we've scouted Declare. He is, he's got low morale. What the hell? He just won a race, mate. Why have you got low morale? And then we've scouted Russell as well. How good is Russell? Let's see. Pretty damn good. I thought he might be better slot, better on pace, but you know, if I compare him to Stroll, oh my god, <laughs> not even a contest. What about against Ocon? Yep, not even a contest. What about against Leclerc? Actually, yeah. Oh wow, so Leclerc's got the much better pace. But Russ has got probably the better race pace in his like. But Leclerc's got better defending. Pretty interesting actually. Hang on, Russell's car won at Mercedes. What the hell? No wonder Hamilton's going off to Ferrari. Like <laughs> Okay. All right, let's see. Engineer, despite your innovation. Oh, Stroll and Mitch will still hate each other. Great. That's what we need. As an F2, Kushmine wins ahead of Vesti and Behrman. And then, yeah, destroyed. Lots of failed stuff. I acknowledge they hate each other. I got it. All right, so got Mammy preview. We've got, oh my god, we've got a ton of car parts to do. Okay, we've got a chassis for you, Ocon. Right, let's swap out the rear ring. We've got a side pod as well for you, Ocon. Aren't you lucky getting all the upgrades? Right, new underfloor as well. So you've got the oldest chassis for the moment, Stroll. On the front wing. Hang on, I've got five rear wings. I can't put a new one on. Are you kidding? And the floor fails. I'll give you the upgraded underfloor. Oh, and we don't have suspension. Oh god, what's gone on the engine? Yeah, it's only Miami. I don't really care. <laughs> Be honest about Miami. I 
I don't think it's an engine track anyway, is it? Or just keep it as is. Alright, let's check in on performance. Yeah, with one car each. Of course, you can't trust Shaw to get even past freaking Q1 at the moment. And then finish position. Yeah. Actually, we might as well go, like, go for the top 15, wouldn't it? That'd be better, wouldn't it? And just one being in 12. Yeah. Both in top 15. And then finish streak. Yeah, 14, why not? There we go. We are set up. All right, let me save. Was it in like being saved before? Freaking game. There were 10 seconds ahead of Max in the end. No one two got one free. Oh, you got Teo Porsche in the reserve all night. We've put him in Alonso's car since he retired soon. We're a teammate with maybe Stroll, but strongly wanted to get Lando for my team. Oh, that would be good. Maybe Yuki. But Miami, Alonso crash, and saw the engine in FP1. Oh. It's like Ocon. Obviously something about, you know, former Alpine drivers, maybe. But, okay, how good is poor chair though in yours? He must be what? I mean, in mine, he's, he's only been a reserve driver in my career, though. So he's not actually that great. As, as well, as great as he could be. Oh, so yeah, he's a 79. But yeah, if he did F2... It'd probably be, what, at least an 80. Uh, let's see if I'm not scouted. Oh, I haven't scouted Perez. Perez is a 90? Are we sure about that? <laughs> like, I mean, maybe this year is a 90. Like, he's been pretty good this year. All right, and Science is right, an 88. Compared to Claire's 91. Wow, okay, there's a bit of a difference. Wow, I can sign the top F2 drivers now. So we've got Enzo Fittipaldi. Isaac Hajar, Oli Behrman. Logan Sargent. He still he hasn't driven in a couple of years, but still 73. Who's this? Petro Fittipaldi. Fred Vesti. And still Victor Martin at 69. So low rated. Well, who's the best F3 driver then? Teresa Sepulveda. She's worth 65 along with Antonio Fonseca. And then the top actual driver is Brad Benavides with a 65. What the hell? Head of like Sebastian Mon the likes of Sebastian Montoya, Calapinto, Vodaroni, Woody Gunta as well, Johnny Edgar. And then we got for sure our oh, kind of reserve at 76. This is Drogovic at 78. Oh yeah, let me just check car parts as well. We do do we have the next? Oh right, so we're gonna get the chassis soon, good. Can we design stuff now? Mm. 
No, we've got to wait three days. Are you kidding? All right. We'll do that next time. I definitely have saved it this time. So we definitely will be heading to Miami and then Imola next time. So yeah, not the... Well, Australia was pretty good, but not, not the race that Azerbaijan we wanted. A bit disappointed with that, to be honest. But yeah, as you can see, we've got upgrades coming at least for Ocon's car, so it should be a much better... Much better weekend next time in Miami and... Or be better couple races in Miami and... Imola. <laughs> Especially Imola, I was thinking. Imola might suit us, actually. Because you've got, you got a few like high-speed corners there. Miami, you have that... Well, I guess you have the first set to Miami, but then after that, it's just more slow corners in that middle sector. Especially as... Let me see... Oh, he's a 79 right now in your career. Oh, okay. I thought it'd be a bit better than that. We put him in FP1 quite a lot this season. Got Alonso a gold helmet since he won. Looks very good. Oh, yeah. I saw in race department there was upgraded helmets as well for the likes of like Hamilton and stuff, which I might add in as well. Might give it to one of our drivers. You never know. <laughs> if I can. Been very good with ERS for Fernando. You can follow cars in front very well. I put him in in top up while the car in front is in top up. And the car is fine. It's deploying here. I put him in. Follows him DRS in neutral. I put him in neutral. He follows him with DRS. Guys, he sounds too good. <laughs> like I'm struggling with my guys, you know, because they have the. Well, it's always like early in the stint and then kind of in the second half of the stint they start you know having that lap where they're like suddenly two seconds quicker than you and then my guys just struggle after that but yeah i just got to learn to well hopefully upgrades work but i also learned to probably manage our our tires a bit better as well oh so yeah oh uh, so we've got some upgrades coming next time, so hopefully we can do better. That was meant to be this stream, but as you saw, I didn't, didn't actually save up the last time. And we're in a much worse state than it would have been otherwise as well. Like, I don't think Alpine, Renault scored a lot of, a lot of points, and McCann definitely had less points. And the other two goes through this race is so for the last stream, so... Yeah, let's see if we can do better next time, though. In neutral, if I was there, that's when they're deploying everything for a pit. So at night, a second fast unit, they're pitting. Oh, really? Because they did it in back and they weren't pitting. They're like... To be fair, we did have, like... What's it, a red flag and stuff? So they might have disrupted things. But yeah, I was, like, following... Was it with Stroll? I was following. Oh, with Ocon, I guess. So I was following like Mick Schumacher, and he'd like. Got past us one lap, and then the next lap he was two seconds quicker, and then. Yeah. We were like similar pace again. He was like. I oh, know. He got past us when he was two seconds quicker, and it was like similar pace. And then he had another lap, like five laps later, it was again two seconds quicker, and then we just suddenly dropped back into the clutches of. Was it the horses behind, I think? Oh, we were pushing into horses behind. Oh yeah, freaking annoying. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping to have you do a better job in Miami of managing it though. Sure we will. But yeah, of course, when I'm fine, science, he went too close here, then he pits. Yeah. Yeah, if you literally watch the Baku race, that's what happened. Like they just started, he went quicker. <laughs> Because it was like, because I had to pit with Ocon early because his tyres were getting really, I couldn't manage his tyres that well. Like I had to push too hard to stay up with them. But yeah, they just went quicker than me. I guess it, yeah, as I said, it's, I think the safety cars might have like 
or the red flags might have just messed it up a bit in my in that race but yeah that's what happened to us he looks a charm oh, okay maybe because i've got a worse car i guess as well like my williams isn't he's exactly going to be winning winning championships anytime soon unfortunately so and we're kind of at least in Baku we're struggling because we, I think we're like an update behind on everyone so it should be much better in Miami now at least back battling for the points I feel like but yeah I think that's the, I think that's the difference plus you've got Alonso Alonso seems to be like the final boss of this game so <laughs> him and Verstappen imagine those two in the team god the first season like just replace Perez with Alonso get one to every race wouldn't you if you, if you manage Red Bull just see what games are coming out as well Oh, and it's like American trucks and my T's in Nebraska. So I might, might need to get back on my back in my truck soon then. So just for this cool game I want to just show off as well. In case you're ever interested in like... I don't know, what could I say? Interesting like claymation stuff. This has got a beautiful art style, this game. Let me try and show you. There we go. How old Halibut? 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 Yeah, a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-sized spaceship submerged in an alien ocean. Joy and Howard has explores a vibrant retro future world in his quest to find the true meaning of home. But yeah, it's got a beautiful art style. I think it is all kind of hand, hand animated as well, which is insane. Because there's quite a few games which are like, you know, hand painted or or drawn, but I've never seen one, you know, animated like this with like claymation style. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, here you go, look, this is how they made them. Pretty crazy, this is how they made a game. <laughs> As well, and it's like, I see that work search is more useful. Since I saw on Reddit, someone said that research is... Yeah, research is pretty useful, I thought. Look on third, third fastest, yeah. Yeah, because I researched my week here, well, not all my week areas, but I researched like acceleration and stuff for this year. And I've gone from like 15th to, you know, last seat, well, round 15th last seat to 5th this year. And acceleration is actually our best part. And yeah, we researched, what's it, high speed a bit again, so we're still top 10. So yeah, like research is actually useful. It's just, oh, there you go, handmade adventure game. If you, if you like your adventure games, or just like beautiful art style, definitely check it out. Oh, it's verified in Steam Deck. I might get that when I get paid next then. So I get that at the end of the month, I think. But yeah, thought, thought I'd show that off. I did try and look to see if there's any good indie racing games, but I don't think there are any for. For the we're just waiting for the major releases in May. So, waiting for what, MotoGP in a couple of weeks, and then F1 a few weeks, well, at the end of May as well. I hate that man in a minute. <laughs> I'm not surprised him, it doesn't sound like he's kind of. I wonder who you manage. I bet he managed like a top team. And he's just like not noticed any difference at all. Because I know there's still the thing you can do where you know. If it's underfloor. Underfloor is easy. It will give you lots of time. And you mo mostly. 
real estate research, like chassis and side pods as well and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's a bit, bit similar to 22. It's not as overpowered, just research under four now, but it's still pretty similar. I think he managed Red Bull. Yeah, he probably didn't notice a difference anymore. It just, you know, like, because that Red Bull is like miles ahead of anyone else anyway. He probably, I bet, I bet he's probably gone backwards. Like, he's finished in like second in races. Like, don't know what's happening. <laughs> like, but yeah, if you want to get the achievements, manage Red Bull. Which I think I might do anyway. Have a little play, play along with a top team and see how much what I can do. Oh yeah, I've also got to do the scenarios as well. I've, I've, I haven't done that yet. Might need to do that then before 424 comes out as well. Because they don't have a release date yet, do they? But I imagine it would be a couple months, especially if F124 is coming out in May. I imagine this one's coming out what, like August? July, August. Oh yeah. I do want to do a run with more updated mods as well. So I can try out the, you know, different driver databases and stuff and see what that's like as well. I mean, that's another thing I would like to see in, what's it? F124. I'm not sure if I said it before, or if I managed 24, is that we have more drivers that aren't just in the formula, you know, F1, F2, F3, calendar. Maybe get some more IndyCar drivers in there. Or was it like Formula E drivers? Mm -hmm. Just have a bit of a wider range of drivers that you can hire. Because they have that in the mods for like Grand Prix World, where they've Modded in, say, 95 season, you can hire Jack Villeneuve, even though he's winning everything in IndyCar that year. Hello, Madrid, but disappointed with Arsenal, man. Yeah. Arsenal have... Oh, I haven't... Oh, I haven't seen the results from this... From tonight, actually. Let me just check those. Oh, yeah, I was, wa I was watching the... Highlights of yesterday's matches. I can't believe. Well, either of the results, to be honest. I can't believe. Atletico Madrid chucked it away. And then that Barcelona just. I wouldn't say they chucked it away, but they were like. Disappointing. Oh, wow. Madrid won on penalties. I well done, Madrid. Nasa beaten by Byron. God. Hang on. So we've got... Was it Munich? Dortmund? PSG? And... And Real Madrid. Oh god, don't tell me it's going to be a year where PSG just <laughs> finally get the Champions League wing so they can justify their ridiculous spending. Don't tell me that's it's going to happen. I don't mean that in a bitter way. I'm I'm a Chelsea fan. I we can't justify our spending. We're too rubbish. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> but at least the women's team again. The the men's team gone. At the moment, we're too rubbish. Barca just crumbled. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand what the. What was it? The defender just dragged him back, didn't he? As well. Yeah, I don't understand what the defender was doing. It was like really dumb challenge. Even though, again, you know, it, the other player kind of play acted a bit too much, but that's what you got to do to get a decision nowadays. 
Stand edition, uh, standard edition cover looks good. Champs edition for F124 could be better. Oh, what do the covers look like? Oh yeah, standard's okay. Oh yeah, Champs edition has just chosen a picture of his staff and have know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like the other F124. Yeah, the standard cover and it's pretty cool. Alright, but yeah, pretty depressing then for Arsenal and well not for Man City, but pretty good for everyone else. I think it probably have a Melbourne to mid win. Oh yeah, Real Madrid Dortmund. God, it's weird how like was it Dortmund haven't been impressive in was it Bundesliga, but I mean yeah, made it to the semis in Champions League. I guess a bit like Oh Real Madrid no. Real Madrid aren't win, are they? No, Real Madrid will win the league, aren't they? Don't tell me they're gonna get a another Champions League. Oh yeah, comfy head of Barca owner. Damn. Anyway, enough enough rumbling about other sports but yeah we'll be back with it'll probably be actually sim rally masters we'll be back with in richard burns rally i'll probably be back with that on friday so we do like the first leg maybe second leg depending how good I, how good i do maybe in all three legs depend or four legs depending how good i am as well but yeah, we'll start that on friday and then at the weekend i should hopefully fit in wrc stream and then I'll probably do ride beginning of next week just because, man, it is like, <laughs> it's taken me a long time to get through that championship. What can I say? Are you going to do iRacing again? I have been doing some iRacing, so you will probably see a video of that in the, in the coming, coming week. I've just been rubbish at editing videos, to be honest. I've got so many ideas for videos as well, but I've just not been editing the videos. So yeah, there should be an iRacing video coming with me like driving in the wet for the first time. Which is really cool. Because I drove the, was it Super Formula Lights as well? And that's a pretty nice car to handle, I guess. Like, <laughs> It's not the, got the greatest default setup, but it's a very like stable car so even for someone who's rubbish like me i can get used to it quite quickly but yeah i do plan to do a video on that maybe a video on my skip the only thing with iRace is that no one's driving the skippies anymore and it's like my like main series on iRacing so i'm gonna have to like invest in like f4 and as i said super formula lights and stuff to get my get my fix on iRacing I've tried Dirt Oval as well, which has been chaotic as well. Because <laughs> I've had it like the new free, was it micro, was it midget, as like one of the kind of entry classes on, on Dirt Oval. And that's been pretty hilarious to drive, so I'm quite sure that was as well. Miss your eye racing streams, yeah. I just need to get, get into it more when I get, you know, when I play at the moment, it's like either at the weekend or like late at night. So I need to get into it when it's like evening time like this and I can start streaming it again. I mean, I'll definitely be back with, what's it, the iRacing 5, well, Indy 500, the iRacing Indy 500 in May. So I'll definitely be back with a stream for that. But yeah, before then, it just depends 
when I can actually be rewarded to play I racing. Because I've been trying to play what's it race from as well, check out the ones ultimate. And I tried R Factor 2 as well, but no one's playing R Factor 2. So <laughs> I think I missed the boat with all the upgrades on the was it online multiplayer for R Factor 2, unfortunately. But yeah, as it as you can probably tell I'm invested in RBR quite a lot as well, which just requires a lot of practice as well for me to be decent at. I used to watch your Irish I missed it. Oh you know, I quite like the iRacing stream, it's a pretty chill. Well, apart from the racing, that can be annoying. But yeah, the iRacing, but normally a pretty chill. Oh, R Factor 2 Classic F1 Career Mode. Do they have enough mods in R Factor 2 for that? I know I could do that in like a set of course or even Automobilista now actually, because they keep bringing out car sets for that. Or skin sets for each kind of era. Yeah, does R Factor 2 have enough? I know there's the... What did we release? They released the McLaren, didn't they? They're like 93 McLaren. And then 98 McLaren, I think. I'm trying to think now. And I know there's mods for like F4 for 96 season as well. But yeah, are there mods for like 94 as well? I might just do a 90s career, I guess, do that. I mean, I do have F1 Challenge as well, but I'm playing it on controller. I don't really like it on controller. I wish I could just play it on a wheel, because it seems like it'd be so much better on the wheel, playing F1 Challenge. But yeah, I have to get used to it on the controller. It's just, again, that will take me a long time, lots of practice to get used to it. Because I really want to do a career on F1 Challenge, but yeah, so it just, doesn't feel right a good shoulder. Maybe I just need to get used to it. As uh, we're checking out iRacing now. Oh the skippies are at Zanfort. Oh that should be good fun. You haven't figured out F1 challenge wheel. Well it doesn't re it reads this wheel, but it doesn't read my pedals, like because they're two separate things. I think it only can read one thing. It can't read two of them. Was it one Oh, what you call it? It's too late for me now. Can't think. What was it like? Oh, what is the word I'm thinking of? So yeah, so it can only read my wheel. It can't read my wheel and pedals, basically. That's the that's the issue I'm having with F1 Challenge. So yeah, I've been trying it on controller, and I'm rubbish on controller with it. Even with like traction control and all all the A. No, driving aids on it. Just not. Can't get used to it. I mean, I do have. What's it? Other. Got, got a ton of other games to check out as well. So. I def. Like, lots of games to definitely want to check. Make. Was it videos on? Oh yeah, that's the that's the plan for this week at least. Just do lots of bragging basically this week, and then back with the bike and Ernie next week. And yeah, back with F1 Manager probably again middle of next week as well. And then I don't think I got do I have any Richard Burns next week? I don't think I do for once. So yeah, I might just continue with WRC. What was the week after? So it would be... ...25th... ...or 24th... Yeah, I don't think I've got any rallies that next week. Yeah. So it'd just be like Sim Rally Masters a week and then yeah back to back to WRC definitely for next week as well. But yeah. I'm that good. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all had a good 
good time watching me fail with William. So I said, hopefully the upgrade will be much more competitive with Miami and Imola. I said, especially looking forward to Imola because I think we might, might have a good chance of being better than the, you know, Renault Alpines at least there. But I'm not sure about Miami. We'll have to have to see how the upgrades work. But sound for watching all. Hope you have a good morning, night, evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.